Sawdust says AD is muted. Not sure if they can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. Do you muted? No, because of that Windows update, it bends off the, it turns the mic to default. Welcome to Heavyweight Gaming. We are a Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> RPG. <laughs> Top work. Top work. Right. This is almost as bad as the time you didn't Absolutely. record the first half an hour of Carbon. I'm on the first entire <laughs> opening monologue wasn't recorded. Was like 28 oh, yeah. minutes or something. So, welcome to Heavyweight Gaming. Uh, we play lots of tabletop games. We're sponsored. We're, we're sponsored. Just accept it. Um, Loki Battle Mats, go check them out. Just put them on Facebook. <laughs> Sawdust will put the link up in the chat. They're incredibly oh, great map workers. Uh, that is, there's a delay, it just repeats. Um, welcome to Heavyweight Gaming. We are a Dungeons and Dragons uh, channel. <laughs> what we're playing tonight, we are playing Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. It's D&D's uh, latest release, Wizard of Course, whatever you refer to them these days. And Mr. Not the latest Roberto. release anymore. What is it? Oh, latest. yeah. The... It's the second most. Re you can't say that anymore. <laughs> yeah, ruined it for us. Yeah, it's about time to watch this. Just go back. Just back there. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know what's going on here. It's just Surin's escape. It's great. If you want to throw 200 bits, we get free rerolls. Um, if you go on DMs Guild and put Heavyweight Gaming in, you'll find a book called Tasha's Heavier Crockpot of Bits and Bobs. It's like 200 copies sold. It's immense if you're into your Dungeons and Dragons fifth head. Um, full of subclasses, 80 plus spells. Feats, weapons, items, etc. Go check it out. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Fantastic artwork, fantastic writers. Um, and I'll put my name on it to set credit for it. Uh, da, 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 I think I think we're done. We're done? I don't know what you're it's pointing at. It's twice over, but yeah. I don't know what you're pointing at, lad. I, don't know. I, just see you. I wasn't. I was just in a light. Uh, just in a light. <laughs> It, it, it was just in a light. So this is it was session, starting to look over there. Session 14? <laughs> session 14? Uh, thir 13 or 14, I don't know. We're going with 14 because that's what I've put on the Twitch. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I can't see the mini feed. Uh, someone, it's Phoenix, Mr. Phoenix, somebody Phoenix. Um, uh, Kyra we'll Phoenix, put, this there is... you go. I'm all over it. I am all over this. We are usually pretty pretty better than oh, this. Yes, this is a train wreck by our interest standard, <laughs> isn't it? Let's be honest. It's like, uh, it's like Bruce Willis auditioning for Die Hard 7. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is what he could have looked like, but no, he's lazy. Right, we're going to hand you over to Rob for a uh, short recap. I don't even know what's happening anymore. We've played D&D, &D, mate. Get the dice. Oh, cool. I took a we killed just a, a big skeleton. Anyone else, if, you don't, you know, if you've got COVID, unlucky. Right, go, Rob. <laughs> You've what an intro. COVID. Wow. Got I've got to, I've got to top that. <laughs> You've got COVID unlucky. Welcome to... Just saying, I don't know. Oh, well, welcome back, everyone. Yes, welcome back to Secrets of Time for our campaign through the recent-ish book, <laughs> Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, Icewind Dale. Um, quick recap of where we're up to, and then we'll jump straight in because I don't think my soul can handle any more in for intro. Oh, right. Let's go. Hoorah. You guys... <laughs> you guys rocked up to East Haven after putting an end to a spree of killings while investigating a Duragar incursion. Uh, you found an outpost, you killed people, you did a bit of investigative work, and you uncovered some bits and pieces linking to some schemes you're not quite sure what that leads to or what you know what the scale of their operation is and you headed to east haven you had a meeting with the town speaker danith and his captain of the guard imdra um a, a pretty warm welcome from the former less so by the latter uh, and agreed to do a bit of work for them um, in return for some of their militia's resources and information and a written uh, permission basically to enter restricted areas and have access to their intelligence. Um, the task was to venture out of the town onto the edge of the lake shore to investigate some disturbances, some missing animals, and some disruption to the fishermen of the lake, Denkshire. And you found yourselves on the edge of a cave network where the wonderful aroma of freshly cooked soup or stew wafted out along the frozen river and you guys headed in um after a little bit of a tentative start you found your way off of the frozen riverbed and up to a rocky precipice where you found a collection of remains uh while trying to loot braces off of a uh, large skeleton 
the uh, frost giant skeleton turns out to be not as uh, inert as maybe you'd hoped. And there's a short but pretty terrifying fight where a pair of you very nearly got your heads cut off. Pardon. And yeah, there's a, a little bit of a scuffle, but you did merge victorious. I finished it. I finished the, it. The frost giant did collapse onto its into the pile of remains on the floor. And you guys managed to catch your breath. The adrenaline kind of drains from your system. Your heart rate slows. And you take a, a few moments just to kind of, I guess, acknowledge you're still alive. So you're in this darkened ossuary of a cave with... You've got the smell of blood and iron in the back of your throat. You have the remains of the frost giant scattered amongst these smaller bones, these scraps of armor, fabric, rusted metal. Um, and behind that kind of rotten decay, you have that warm, homely smell of food still drifting from within the cavern. So that is where we'll jump in. I'll start removing is it? I'll start Roll removing 20 looks like it works now. <laughs> okay. Uh, you managed to remove the braces without much effort on the whole. The bolt skeleton's no longer held together, and it's just you slide them off. Is, At the moment, they're fairly chunky. Is, they are... Go, on. go ahead. I was going to say, is the ground around me um, soft enough to dig, or is it solid for us? It's rock. Under you... Underneath, like where there's no bones, it's a it's a cave floor. Um, it's just rough, eroded stone. Hey, reroll. Thank you. I can't hear any music Thank if you. you're playing any, Mister. I'm Shit. I'm not good. Good call. It's normally I forget. And that roll twenty is not working for me. Well, don't worry about roll twenty. Cool. I'm still good. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna turn oh, that down. Those down. those. Yeah. Are, those oh, in the chat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Roll 20 is done on my mixer, so if it's really loud, please let me know and I'll try and turn it up. In that case, I will take the braces and okay. um, I'll bundle them into my backpack. Okay. Please make is... a note. You have two frost giant braces. Is it definitely unalive again? Technically, it wasn't alive when you fought it, so it's as dead as it was, arguably. <laughs> so it's re-dead. It's, it's, it's re-dead, yeah. Let's go with that. Mental uh, steps, are you hurt? A little bit, yes. Do, do you need me to touch you? Point my arm back on. <laughs> <laughs> I always look like this. It just hurts rocket. when I breathe. <laughs> just let him. I, um, I don't mind taking some of the healing slack. Help this. Um, if you're good, I, then it's fine. But yeah, I can give him a rub. Um, how hurt are you, gentle steps? On a scale a of uh, one um, to twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get how many times you do that. It's still funny. <laughs> it's still funny. Had twenty-seven <laughs> apples. I've been missing. <laughs> This came, this came up in the first campaign. So when we first played the campaign, uh, someone said it, like, completely dead. Pan, I went, on a scale of 1 to 14, or about a 7. Um, if I uh, if I rubbed you for, like, a 10, would that be all right? You don't know what a 10 is. You're either healing him or you're not. You're always a 10 to me, Elkis. Uh, heal I, me. I, Just heal me. I, Touch me. I shall Touch pump. me, Elkis. Elkis. I'm touching you. Elkis. I'm going to I'm touching you. I'm stroking your knee for 10 points. That's not my knee, but thank you. <laughs> I can't reach any higher. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Don't do it, Eddie. Don't do it. Oh, Don't go down that road. <laughs> it's Friday, man. Oh, man. <laughs> How much did you hear? It's half eight. You got, you got... Ten. Ten. We got, we got 34 minutes. On we'll a scale walk. of 1 to 27, <laughs> I... Uh... I hate you all so much. <laughs> so, after the... You've still got kind of the occasional crunch and bone snapping as you guys move around this chamber. Um, the scraping noise that kind of brought your attention to this area initially has, has ceased. You can just hear the kind of... 
the wind kind of you can hear it rushing down the tunnel and it kind of starts to the far left of you and goes all the way around to the right it's almost like a you can hear the travel it's like from left to right all around you it's quite disorientating as the sound moves across you kind of lose the distance and lose the uh the sense of direction where you are now is, is sheltered um you've got the path the stone staircase leading or it's not really a staircase the rubble leading back down to where you left the frozen river or there is a an exit point where this kind of stone tunnel continues further in uh, i'm gonna put my shield away my shield is now on my back <laughs> okay shield is um, doffed should we leave uh yeah well which way are we going uh, the way uh, we came i'm a seat there's did we just come to kill that dude, or were we, we looking we for the stew? We didn't come to kill them, but we're here for well, recon. There's clearly things in here that are bad. We can just report that and say there are things in here that are bad. Do we need to take some proof? Maybe a bone or two? If we, have a few bones. we, we can... just want to see what's a bit further down in the cave first, because they'll just tell us to come back and carry on. Pretty much. I look at the last of the holes healing in my massive <laughs> rogue-like chest. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's 20 go. strength rogue. <laughs> Working on it. Uh, I'll lead on. <laughs> I can sneak ahead and have a look if you want. I yeah. think I will do that. I think you should both do it. As well or instead? <laughs> Instead, <laughs> uh, I have learnt my lesson from them eagle-eyed dwarfs, and I will wait here. Eagle-eyed, you got a nat one. <laughs> they spotted me when I was invisible. Uh, we don't know what a one is, Rob. You've already stated that, so yeah. they're don't know numbers. <clears throat> you, Vale, as you kind of nosy ahead into the next <laughs> chamber, you. The path continues. It's about five, ten feet in places, and the tunnel, rough hewn, that looks kind of just natural formation of the rock. The walls go up quite high, 20, 30 feet either side, and the ceiling is patchy in places, and the occasional bit of moonlight comes through and sends the light cascading and bouncing off all the ice and frost on the walls. It's very, very narrow, but very tall. Um, and you see the cave, the tunnel branches off. You hit a T junction. To the left, you can see a slow descent takes you to another area of what appears to be frozen water. And to the right appears to be stone steps that descend further into the stone area. Can I hear anything from either direction? Make a perception check for me, Blizz. And for the, um, I wanted to see if I could smell, like if there was a certain stronger smell from each direction as well. Make a perception check, just in general. Um, a nat one, <laughs> plus four. <laughs> we have a re-roll. <laughs> I'm not using the re-roll for this, <laughs> this early on. <laughs> uh, also, can you make me a stealth check? Which, you're probably glad yeah. you rolled in this oh, order now, yeah. let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Stealth is 11 plus 6, 17. Okay. <laughs> on a one, it's the wind bouncing around and kind of echoing the way these tunnels are structured their narrowness and their high wall the, the wind like you, see, you can hear it and then it goes around and as the, as the wind cadence goes past you can't really tell direction and the echoes of the gusts have kind of cover up anything else like you can just about hear a few snaps of bone behind you as the rest of the party are moving around you the only thing the only thing you can hear is down on the water area you the wind is louder i was going to call for gentle steps but he does not have the a the smell of what you could smell from the the food is kind of everywhere you you you, you kind of spend a moment you try to determine direction but you, you you're not quite able to to pick up a direction your heart's still racing, your kind of blood's still pumping around your body, and it's kind of hard to dial into that sort of calm state to, to make sense of it. Mm -hmm. I'll um, head back to the group and explain about the like the two 
paths and the stairs going down for one and then the um, other one going down to the frozen water. And I'll say that I couldn't focus to hear anything or smell anything significant if someone else wants to try. Um, yeah. I still don't know what the yeah. smell is you speak of. There's like a people stew type spell, smell. People stew? Yeah, I think they're cooking people. Well. I want to take a chance since now I'm not like jingly as Elkis anymore and just kind of take a few steps down. Um, while people are scouting, do you reckon we should take a short rest? Um, well, if a bit... I was on the road to recovery, I'm halfway there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and rest. I'm okay. I'm gonna sit down you and have a yourself. rest. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> I hear the pain I'd behind it. I'd, 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 <laughs> I'd a death saving throw me if I was out to it. <laughs> Swung the hammer, a hammer flung back right onto the head. <laughs> Rock's fault. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to do? Sorry, Celine. I'm just going to take a, just a couple of sneaky steps down, just a little bit. Roll a sneaky step check. <laughs> this is now what I'm calling stealth checks. <laughs> Dental steps is older brother. Sneaky steps. <laughs> Uncle ah, 14. <laughs> 14. Okay. You, yeah, you take a couple of steps and then you come to this T junction as well, and you can spot the same thing. On the left, um, you see like a slow decline towards what appears to be frozen water, and then to the right is. The steps, that's where I wanted to go, like just a few steps down just to see if anything like comes to ear. Which side? You've got to pick either left or right to go down. The right side with the steps, right? Yes. Staircase. I just want to take a few. Steps down. Okay. We're not too far that I can be seen. Is it, is it a curve or does it just go straight down? It does. It curves, it curves. to the left slightly. Okay, so I don't want to go past that precipice and everything. I just want to kind of get there and see mm -hmm. if I hear anything coming from that so corner. So you take a couple of careful steps. You that's his that's his cousin. <laughs> that's his, yeah, um, that's his slippery. <laughs> not in this area. It's, it's rocky. Okay. There's a few loose rocks and the masonry is is. They're not purpose-built steps. It's just a collection of rubble that just declines. So there's a few kind of wobbles, but you manage to keep your back against the wall, keep yourself steady, and as far as you're aware, you've been fairly quiet. As you reach the bottom, before you kind of turn the corner, you make a perception check. The air smell. You make a perception check. Uh, I love Anne reading her dice. Because yeah, there's like see through and then it's like silver. I'm just like, the... 18. It's why? It's like an old lady. Like... 18 could be a three. Could for be a sure. Three. Well, the three, the three is like right just above the 16. Time, so... Every time I've noticed her, like. <laughs> I need I need your glasses. He's already old, so I might need to like. Even, like... Just turns 40. it so she finds the 20. Three. Like... Um, on 18, you. The, the smell gets stronger. There is a much more pungent smell of a mixture of that like metallic tang of blood mixed with like home cooking and kind of that camp smoke kind of smell. And you can hear very faintly the crackling of what appears to be a wood fire. I'm going to back up slowly <laughs> and head back to the group. What'd you see? Sure I... It smells like somebody's cooking blood and some other lovely stuff, People... but not the good kind of blood, as in, let's, yeah, no. Black the, the pudding! Kind of not the black pudding kind, unfortunately. <laughs> Somebody is cooking to something off. Uh, well known, nice with Dale uh, delicacy. <laughs> Famous. <laughs> Well, I know one of the famous for its this seafood. <laughs> a couple of things. I'm surprised no one's heard us fighting the giant. And then I'll do like a little sign of respect to the fallen. Also, what are you planning? Do you want to just go wading into the uh, chefs? No. I mean, I've seen players with chefs and you they are badass. John Siegel. I think you need to rest first. Rest? Where do you want to rest? Yes, rest. Like she looks them up and down, like Excuse blood me? everywhere and whatnot. Eyes up here. <laughs> well, I'm like probably up to his stomach. <laughs> just looking place at to his be. knees, <laughs> looking uh, at his knees and his ankles, going like, "Well, what color eyes have you so, got, gentle steps? I can't see that far up." I'll crouch down. They're turquoise. 
Hmm. Oh, it's healed. At what timing? Because Edie's camera just went blurry as well, so you really yeah. actually <laughs> can't see. Got really Painfully out. Close to Elkis. <laughs> Painfully out of focus. Uh, Elkis is very long sighted. He got really blurry when he came down. <laughs> <laughs> Have to hold him like this I'm to just, see him. I'm just messing. Just doing the dice. Such high definition. Oh, yeah. Super him, <laughs> Okay, so, so to your eyes, are we all happy? Are we good? <laughs> what was that about blue eyes? Where are my notes? Kill anyone with <laughs> <laughs> on sight. <laughs> Kill on sight, blue eyed people. We are kind of in a little enclosed area, I suggest we just kind of. I will point out that like you're in an enclosed bit. area full of remains, bone, dried blood, rust, and scraps. It's it's not the most perfect hiding place to hide our yeah. surroundings. If we all just play dead. We can sit behind the giant. Resting a lot of dead here. things will cover it's our suicide. sense. Well, we can move on then, I guess. Or uh, leave. Are we... Yep. I don't think we should rest in here. We either go through it in a clean sweep and hope that at least one of us gets out the other end to tell said Gimmer at the town, oh yeah, there's really dangerous <laughs> things there and I lost all my friends. The town, well, I'm personally fine. Um, <laughs> I reckon don't I could get back to town. Really? I feel okay as well, just yeah. in case anyone wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Next thing that we come across, um, you can get hit by it. I'm not sure the warlock will make it. But, um, <laughs> that'd be fine. I'll have you find warlock's this warlock fine. feels perfectly fine as she also <laughs> then like kind of references to like the frosted um, armor. That's kind of. I also. I think you've got more. You still got the. You still got like that sense of invigoration yeah, from the rally as well. Yeah. Uh, I feel um, hella good right now. Oh, see. I suggest we go down and just have a wee look. I really think Celine wants to taste this stew. Mm-hmm. Vale, <clears throat> wanna sneak ahead? Um yeah. Cool. Do you not want to? What does it matter? <laughs> what does it matter? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so oh, meta right now, I love it. <laughs> I don't even know what's real anymore. Um, right, what? who's what doing what? Cave? The uh, general steps of Vale are going to stealth ahead. Spot, Why is Cave? Spot, spot the bodies and then shout back, there's some bodies. Okay. As we're walking down, I'm going to reach out my arm and just touch gentle steps on the on the arm and cast your wounds to stop him moaning. I can't, I can't move. Ha <laughs> How long have we been sat here while they've been going backwards and forwards and chatting and stuff? About eight minutes. About 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right. Not How an hour. It? How long is it short? Uh, there we go. Sure. <laughs> How many? How many? Vale? Seven. Seven. <laughs> if I was on the road to recovery, <laughs> I'd been early then. <laughs> I feel great. Bro, it was 27 yeah, was miles so long. <laughs> <I'd be> a... <laughs> if I was 27 feet tall. <laughs> well, right. I, are you feel feeling? Good. Are you feeling a bit more? You know, are we ready? Okay. Yeah, totally. Yeah, my head. cool. That's, good. Let's okay. find the next thing for me to tank. <laughs> Bro, tank AC. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna kind of like just, just, just. Gentle steps his knees, be like, maybe you need to stay a little behind. People. He's not that <laughs> tall. He's like <laughs> taller than you. He's not like that's six foot eleven. Right? I'm tall. Six foot eleven. Like, you're not like it's like half foot on you. His knees. Where all this The only person who's to his waist and knees is Elkis. The rest yeah. of you is like not high. No, six foot eleven is not too bad, all right. <laughs> I'm probably just up to his like chest. Yeah, this like a lion, he's yeah. a giant. I don't understand why everyone's touching my knees. Just <laughs> whack him on the chest, then. Be like, he's crouching just, down. Right. And hey. the knees. So, you're heading down the hey, tunnel, then. Yes. Stealthily. Stealthily. Are you going together Stealthily. or are you going ahead? Together. together. All right. Together. So, um. Get the shit out of where we're there. Make stealthy checks then for me, please. Those who haven't already. Wait, do I need to as well again? Nope, you've already. Uh, wait, nope, you're fine with this. You and mind. Vale are fine. The other three okay. need stealth checks. Yeah. I cool. need to do one. I'm still in the cabin. God. Are you, are you going down with them or are you staying in the cabin? Uh, I'm staying here until I get told okay. to move. Well, we are. We're moving. You were told. I'm moving. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I guess I'm going yeah, for it. Yeah, I see. It just popped up. Um, uh, so that's a seven minus one, but I've got to roll with disadvantage as well. <laughs> Could only get worse. That is a six. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Good work. 
Can we carry Elkis? Can I carry Elkis? Seriously, as well? like, it'll still jingle. They'll so, still be jingling over your like. You you start descending down these steps. You start descending down these stairs, um, and despite <laughs> your best efforts to be quiet, you can. The armor does make a noise. You can hear the plates sort of clashing together, and the occasional rock tumbles out I keep and it echoes a away from Elkis. Tumbles out it, of the it, armor. It, it echoes down down the cavern, and it, it is pretty. Uh, it is I'm pretty also, loud. I'm also humming a theme tune. Why? Why wouldn't you? Uh, why? You. <laughs> That's my theme tune. You sk- You reach the bottom, and you hear before you see. Kind of a soft humming, female voice, kind of just humming. And as you turn the corner, you can see the crackling wood fire, which appears to be beneath a large cauldron. About three and a half, four foot in diameter. And there's a pile of wood underneath that's crackling away, sending sort of plumes of white smoke. The pot itself is oddly decorative and impressive. It looks engraved. It looks decorative with brass. There is inscriptions on it. There is like filigree and designs that have been put into it. And it looks immaculate. Mistakes will be made today. What Behind the it, you, you are too far. Well, not fairly. You are, you see behind it, a decrepit old lady, probably around in her 70s, if not later years, with tattered furs that are kind of around these skeletal almost shoulders, the hunch, uh, and you can see this long wooden handle descending into the pot that's just slowly been stirred. And she's just humming to herself as she, uh, as she works as she uh, cooks. Within the rest of the chamber, there are a stone block in the corner, which seems to have a pile of freshly prepared organs of meat. There is blood draining from the stone tablet onto the floor and is beginning to pull. Uh, It's not quite yet made that sort of brown dry. It looks fairly fresh, there are rusty blades, hatchets, and you can see behind that the remains of what appears to be a humanoid. Partially flayed, but there are clearly limbs, arms, legs. See? See? And you've just got... She's just humming to herself, stirring as this kind of mismatched sight hits you. So, she doesn't seem to acknowledge your presence. She's just humming. What else do I? Hmm. Well, all the humanoids probably. Yeah. Uh, we found what we came for. I think we did, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Has she noticed us yet? I don't know how. She's she looking can miss us. kind of. You like she's behind the pot to you, so you're pretty much in her view sight. But she doesn't. She hasn't looked up. She hasn't acknowledged you. I'll tell you now. She knows we're here. Mm-hmm. Definitely does. Mm-hmm. Are we taking her out or not? Yes or no? Well, it seems like this is her way of luring people in. Excuse yeah. me. He looks up and kind of half raises an eyebrow. What's he playing at? Yes. Eating people. What brings you here today? You don't get many travellers this far. Well, she, she doesn't answer questions. Uh, we're just having a look around the cave. We smelled some. Um, we smelled something. 
before we come and have a look. Are you yeah. okay down here? It seems a bit dangerous. Got my... It's fine. It's uh, no dangers that threaten me down here. And the smell will be the uh, the stew. What's it's in famous it? from where... Bit of everything, really. Meat and vegetables, broth, spices. It's a... Uh, goes down a treat back home. What sort of meat? Where is home? Whatever, whatever we can get hold of. Nothing goes to waste. Where is home for you? The name escapes me. It's uh, been some time. Distant lands, far, far from here. Much warmer. How did you come to be here? I got set the first fire. time. The first time you, like, she kind of stops the. the she leaves the the wooden ladle, if you like, in the pot and just kind of stops for a second. It kind of looks pensive, as if she's kind of thinking back. It's traveling a lot, tra traveling from land to land, and <laughs> seem to be in this one now. I set the fire and I warm my hands. How long are you staying? Don't know. Not really thought that far ahead. I am gonna mutter a prayer under my breath and touch my holy symbol, a meteor, and I'm going to use divine sense, celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet. Celestial, a fiend or undead uh, within so fifty feet. Sixty. Uh, within sixty. Let's say again. So it's uh, sixty feet. Cel what? Celestials, fiends, and undead. Yeah. In sixty yeah. feet. Within, yeah. yeah. If it, there is no you your spell goes out your holy symbol sends that kind of vibration through your body and you feel the energy pulse through you don't that sense okay oh sorry you do not from the old lady towards the back of a cavern you do get a small sense of um undead uh, it seems to who... be a, an essence of undeath within the cave but towards the back not not necessarily from her i was at the back of the party who am i next to uh i would imagine it was veil well if gentle steps is already general steps is in the cave as it were i'm sat at the fire uh, <laughs> yes yeah, so general steps is in the cave i assume celine and veil are kind of at the front and then you and adria towards the back i nudge adri and subtly mm -hmm. like nod past the witch it's a, it's a shame you've arrived at when you did. Another hour or so, and the food would be ready. I'm afraid I can't offer anything at the moment. We've recently worry. eaten, so oh, we're actually we're actually okay. Um, but thank Fire you is nice and cozy. Um, <laughs> could I see if I can spot what the humanoid <laughs> creature is? Make an investigation check. By humanoid creature, you mean what specific? The, the remains or yeah, the woman? like what race it is or something? Oh sure, um, okay. You're but I'm not check. gonna know. I doubt I'm gonna notice anything on a seven. No, looks like very half um, processed meat. Um, you can only tell it's humanoid just because there's clear arms and legs. Um, yeah. There's not enough distinguishing features to. There's no visible skin that you can see. There doesn't appear to be any hair or even necessarily a distinguished head. Um, you, yeah, there's, it's humanoid. Where did you um, source the source the meat for your stew that you're making today? It's brought in. By who? By whatever I can enchant, whatever goes out looking for me. All what wanders in, plenty of wildlife around. It's not that difficult to track and trap in these parts. I want to start entering the cavern and circle around the fire a little bit past gentle steps and see if I can spot what's in the back that I'm getting mm -hmm. the sense from. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you actually managed to leave this cave? A few days ago. I can, I can come and go as I please. I'm not trapped here. Um, no gentle big skeletons sorry. have tried to stop you. One second. Um, you have a look around the back, Elkis, and as you move around, you um, 
you, you, you sense it, but you, you, you sense a very small, almost flickering essence of undeath. Um, it's not moving around. From, the, it's not coming moving. from the flared body, is it? It's coming from the back. No. Uh, you don't see, you can you, you see the source or the essence of where the energy is coming from seems to be moving and flickering uh, and kind of drifting from place to place, but it doesn't seem to be consistent with any Thing you can see it's not coming from any item in front of you sorry what did you ask Salim mm. nothing tried to attack you recently on the way anywhere you know no, there have been some odd nothing. things going on around here we're just kind of sent to just make sure that everything's okay so people have been disappearing the giant no, nothing. in the hallway out there corridor tunnel did you do that I enchanted it, yes. This uh, this whole cave's full of remains. Uh, I believe it used to be either a, a, a den or a home of, of ancient frost giants. There's under the ice a, a number of skeletons seem to have been here for years. They are resting spirits. You should not disturb them. Um, Perhaps... Can I say, uh, e easy gentle steps in giant, please. <laughs> I want to use Harness Divine Power, which um, is just a rigor real one, a level one spell slot. I, I don't believe I need to do anything for that, it's oh, just yeah. an, an, uttering a prayer to myself again. That's still a pretty big protection. Have you been attacked Same before in here? No. There's a few stray wolves find their way in, drawn to the smell, but nothing particular. Lady, what's in the back there? I can sense something. Sense what, little one? There's something not right. Undead. I'm not sure it's nothing to be concerned about. I've been here some time and nothing's bothered me. I'm pretty concerned with undead. It not be something that you have enchanted like you enchanted that giant you just told us about giant was the only thing i've enchanted and brought back to this to this plane and and deaths everywhere the life and death are two sides of the same coin death is all around us at all times do i believe that make an insight check whilst he's inciting i say to veil in giant she needs to die. 18. She just doesn't appear to be any deception or any... So that's just flowing in giant. <laughs> <laughs> you well... don't know. <laughs> yep. Well, for your own safety, do you mind if we check it out for you? you can be my guest. I mean, if, if my... Guardian out in the corridor hasn't caused me harm. I don't see what other spirits in this place would choose to either. You never know. I'm going to reply yeah. to. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah. I was just going to reply to Gentle Steps and say, I agree, but not yet, in Giant. And then in common, I'll ask the lady, um, What's your name, by the way? <clears throat> My name is Maud. Nice to meet you, Maud. And who are you cooking for? That seems like a lot of a, a lot of stew just for you. It's uh, it's odd, you see. It's, when I where from from, I, I used to cook for the village, the whole the whole group, and it's just old habits, I guess. I always seem to make too much, and this this, cauld this cauldron here just seems never to run out. There's always food available. Where did you get that cauldron? We're all entitled to some of our secrets, dear. No, I was just asking. It looks quite um, ornate. Nothing yeah, like I've ever seen before. It's lovely, isn't it? <clears throat> Do I recognize any of the symbols on it? I think it's being Elvish or... Uh, make a... One second. Um, make a intelligence check. Just a straight intelligence check for me, please. 
Nat 20. Okay. You look at it. <laughs> you you look at it. Um you see doesn't appear necessarily elven. Um it's not a necessarily a language. It seems to be just very highly decorative. The craftsmanship. I mean, you're pretty familiar with like almost the pinnacle of woodland sculpture and bone carvings and rock shaping and from from your history and things this looks beyond that um you can see kind of the embossing show imagery of satyrs and nymphs um in very you know in, in they look like they're feasting uh, they look like they're preparing food you see some with ladles and some with plates and flagons you see on the base of the cauldron, there are five sort of clawed feet that angle down, which then the fire sits under. What's um, the cauldron made out of? It looks like almost like this polished. I would say like iron, but it's kind of it's like a dark metal, but it looks like it's got this reflection to it, a shine to it. Uh, I want to keep it looks walking around. Look, it, look, it, it looks immaculate. So yeah. it. it, it on the natural 20, you will notice imagery of, on the cauldron itself, appears to be imagery consistent with fey creatures, consistent with divine and celebratory feasts. And the, the, the cauldron has all the signs of being beyond any craftsmanship you are aware of from a, a craftsman, like a, a normal craftsman. It seems yeah. impossibly well made. Can I uh, can I ask? Um, is anything on the on the cauldron classed as writing? No. Nothing at all. No runes. No. It's imagery. It's, it's uh, only imagery. It's, it's it's almost like a scene. It's almost you know like a, a like a nativity, I guess, like all the way around it. There's okay. scripture in the fact of like stylized almost like Celt almost like celtic knot work around the edges of it and every inch that could be embellished and like greek vases yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay cool no that's fine i was just uh, double checking uh i want to keep walking around looking at the back of the cavern but i want to keep walking around to somewhere behind the witch i will follow elkison because i told her i wanted to take a look just for her um, safety still looking down the back of the cavern but I want to be edging up to her mm. I'll tell her if you don't want us looking any more specific just let us know but I just want to make sure whatever is lurking there doesn't pop out like it did at us what brings you to this cave then you've asked a lot of questions and... my friend Sebastian likes to get out now and then that which too one you, which one of you Sebastian <laughs> I just, pat, I just pat my axe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No secrets here. <laughs> We're just looking for some towns from, from my town that have gone missing close to some friends of mine. You haven't seen any um, fishermen, have you, wander this way? Is this fish still by any chance? The fisherman last batch was fit. The last, last batch of seafood. There was a few crowd, uh, was a few crabs, a few trout. Uh, from the lake. <laughs> Not seen any fishermen. I mean, there's ones who you can occasionally hear the, the louder ones singing away out on the lakefront, but... Do you remember your... any chance Keep myself the to last myself? time you heard somebody? Other than yourselves? <sighs> I don't remember. It's a, it's a, some angry dwarf language I didn't recognise. He thick accent and shouting about the cold and complaining but that was a few days ago now and not heard or heard anything from them since did they taste nice come near you? <laughs> what did you, did say? you say that out, did you say that out loud yep what do you mean little one <laughs> i'm just wondering if it tasted nice i don't know what, I what are you implying you here the maybe that you eat people I'm only going on the ingredients of the cook pot right in front of you. And there's this. Um... That's not a chicken leg. I apologize for them too. 
Would you happen to know if they came close by to you, or did you hear anything more from these uh, dwarves? I think they were in the caves further up. Um, this some cavern when I first arrived. There's some cabins higher up. You can from the front instead of following the river in. I think it seems they were up there. They I think they stayed a night, maybe to save from the weather, to stay out of a biting cold. And how do we get I up guess there? Guess they must. I don't think there's much way in the cave, or well, certainly anything I've found. It's uh, back up to the lake front and, and scale up, I'm afraid. Uh, do I, I believe it this time? Um, oh, is it? Inside track. I'm still on the one. Okay. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I might believe there. Uh, ten. <laughs> she seems not evasive. She seems a little bit scattershot, and some, some of the answers don't quite make sense. Someone's like, you know, she's having a slightly different conversation, um, but nothing nothing seems to come across as deceitful. What happened to this this person here? And I gesture towards the obvious half-flayed body. Sure, it's a terrible mess. You know what happened to them? I don't, I'm afraid. They were here when you moved in? It looks quite yeah. fresh to be, uh, to be old. Uh, <clears throat> so, found it. Just find sources and cook for the people. Cook for the village. Keep everyone fed. That's always been my job. So you, you, he, the meat that isn't on his body is in the stew. Is that what you're saying? Some of it. Do you know what they were? I'm not really sure what it was. Creatures all look the same after a while. Who other than you eats this stew? Just kind of looks again pensively for a few minutes, or a few seconds, sorry. A few minutes. No one really, <laughs> no one really these days. It's uh, It's been some time since I've been with, with my village. It's... Uh, Quiet these days. So, just me. Why are you cooking then if there's nobody here to feed? It's just what I always did. I was good at it. Keep keep the stew going for when you know if, if the people come home and if the villagers get hungry. It's while she's saying this and talking, I'm going to go with Elkis and we're just going to continue waltzing around to try to find this undead thing because she hasn't stopped us from, from looking at stuff. From where you two, so give you guys a bit of an idea now you're in the cavern proper. The fire does kick out quite a bit of light. So the cavern you guys are in properly uh, is about 25, 30 feet across, circular, rough circular, the pot's in the middle. There is then a 20 foot wide kind of archway where the ceiling comes down slightly and the walls come in and then it opens up into another similar sized cavern it's in that part of the cavern where you can see the stone block the remains is where the energy source that you detected uh, elkis is coming from while you two are in that area you can see it, it looks a little bit less kept in this area there's a uh, you know if there's scraps of cloth there are, seems to be cooking tools uh bladed implements there seems to be storage sack of some sorts and you can see that this also descends down to a large like basin um the ceiling opens up you can see peaks of sort of moonlight cascading in and glistening off about 50 foot expanse of just frozen water seems to be the end of the frozen river ends in this basin is she looking our way She's like glancing between you as she's talking. At the moment, she's she's I'm kind of it. she's not she's she's kind of just not keeping an eye on you as such, but just like facing whoever she's talking to. Yeah. And whoever's asking the questions. Oh yeah, I did ask her if she wants us to stop us when we're walking around looking. Yeah. Around. I'm gonna go down towards this basin area slowly. Yeah, I'm gonna pulse out another divine sense because it only doesn't last very long, and I'm gonna take out my shield. Okay. Your divine sense, you don't detect, uh, you, you detect the same kind of wandering, um, low level energy of undeath that seems to be kind of 
slowly floating around, maybe about 15 feet off the floor and just kind of drifting around above the area you're in. Can't see anything. Nope. Uh, whisper to Celine, it's, it's here up in the air, but I can't see it. Up in the air? Yeah. Start kind of looking around the ceiling area up up in the air. Like, uh, uh, there's holes feet. in the ceiling because the moonlight's coming in, right? Is it just one kind of hole or just a few? Say again, sorry. Um, and you said there's moonlight coming in, right? Yeah, so the, the ceiling's a little bit cracked. If you imagine, it's almost like ravines <laughs> that have then opened at the top. You've got little, like, yeah. loose rocks that have fallen through, and you've got, like, these little thin cascading moonlight that comes through and then kind of lights up, and you can see the shine of the areas and of frost. She said that the dwarves were walking up in that area somewhere, right? Um, she, uh, back, if you guys remember last session when you first entered the cave, there was a frozen river and then set into the rest of the mountain top, there were some other cave entrances. So it could possibly oh. be that this undead thing is on another floor up? That's what she's going to be. You, like, you can see through the ceiling and see the sky. Like through yeah. the gaps in the ceiling, you do see moonlight. There doesn't appear to be any kind of flooring. It just seems to be the broken tops of this cave just opens into uh, the sky. And you said the feeling. The ceilings 15... are about the ce Yeah, the ceilings are about thirty feet high. And you're saying it's about fifteen foot that I'm feeling. Yeah, you f you feel it within this chamber. It's not above yeah. the chamber. Yeah, it's inside here, Celine. Huh. You guys staying long? I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but I could be having company. You know, the villagers could be here soon. Depending on uh, how this goes, thirty six seconds. <laughs> We won't be staying long. We'll be out of your hair soon. Just kind of looking around how I can get upstairs from this area, if you don't mind. The only way out of this cave is back, back the way you came, back through the, the across the frozen, the water. Uh, this, as far as I've explored within here, this this is the end of the cave. I'm afraid. The old river that flowed through here must have filtered through the rocks and frozen over. I'm going to walk back into the cavern where she is, and I'm going to place myself behind her. Not right up to her. I'm not kind of breathing into her butt. <laughs> this could quite possibly be an advantageous position. <laughs> she, she turns around and looks down at you. Um, you can see kind of this long, kind of weathered, creased skin with kind of the the eyes and the around the mouth are, the, battered from the cold. Um, it's almost leatherish. Um, what colour is her tongue? Make a perception check. Uh, lady, why don't you come back to town with us? I just look at Vale questioning. 16. Like, 16 was that? Yes. It appears <laughs> to be tongue coloured. Looks, looks regular. Okay. Tongue? Gonna you say it a tongue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The tongues are tongue coloured. What were you saying, Bill? I'm just gonna yeah, say in, gi in giant to gentle steps. I'm not in charge. <laughs> you don't need my permission. <laughs> what did you say initially, gentle steps? Sorry to Vale. I didn't when she had a back to me looking at Elkis. I just looked questioningly at Vale as, as if to say, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, why did you come back to town with us, lady? It must be lonely out here. It is, but what if the villagers come back? What, what if the people need the food? I can't I can't leave it here. There's only one village around here. While they're talking, I'm going to look into the cauldron. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to stick my finger a little bit to see yeah. if I can taste. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. There we go. <laughs> What do I add with that? Yeah. You're, you're if you're on D&D Beyond, you'll have a save. It's one of your saving throws. Top yeah. left box saving throws. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, thank God. That's still low. 12. Oh. 12. You take one point of fire damage as you just stuck your hand <laughs> in a bubbling hot <laughs> stew. Not on, in the, I said on the side. It, you know, it, it gets okay. some kind of like res residue. Put your hand. <laughs> All right. 
Right. Oh, as, as experiment, go get a pan, go put it in a fire, go put your finger in it, and let me know how that goes for you. I cook a lot. I have cooks' hands and fingers. <laughs> Spain <easily>. doesn't. <laughs> That's what the cost is you're saving for us. Uh, yeah, you, you, you put your hands in it's hot. Yeah. Well, Drac, now I'm on 23. No. How does it taste? Are you tasting it or are you asking? Yes, <laughs> I'm tasting it. Whatever the heck that is that just burnt my finger. It's, I'm committed. It's just a good. but it was a It's good. It's a mixture of <laughs> like earthy spices. Long it's pig. A rich <laughs> Long dessert. Pig. It's just yeah. like a really rich meat stew. Um, so just go, the, hmm, this is nice. How do I feel after it's tasting it? warming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to gesture to the dead body on the floor and go, how would you feel? Like you, it's it's I'm not, elf, yeah, it's, you don't, you don't, you don't feel, you don't feel untoward. Um, excuse it me. It tastes feel. like good, tastes like good stew. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'll turn to Gentle Teps and just nod my head and tell him in, uh, in, um, I don't dying. mean to, no. I don't mean to tell no. you your manners, dear, but that, this is, so were you invited to, to, to do that? I'm very sorry just hungry. Celine is the child of our friendship. You know, if you can wait a little longer it'll be ready. But it's mm. Come into my home and just help yourself like that. Could, Look, we, wait, could we wait for an hour? The, the time's <laughs> getting late. I, I need you. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It's. I've got things to be doing and I need to get things ready. And... Can I ask one last thing before we leave? I'll wait for her to answer. <laughs> I guess. Will you be raising any more? I mean, the guardian in the previous chamber but kept me safe. It gave me a sense of security here. I mean, what's the harm? It's. I just look back at Vale. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna just gonna wince like. I'll crack a wimp, but I'm a hawk. <laughs> you actually? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Oh, God. Roll initiative, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, I'm gesturing to him, like, no, 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 leave her alone. We might need I, her In later. my head, I was like, one of you's going to pull a trigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's just which one of you's going to pull it. I hate fighting hag. I was, I was so close. <laughs> That's a bold assumption of you there. What, that it's a hag? Yeah. It's not too bold. <laughs> it's I have no idea what it is. Goliath I don't have any idea what it is, but I've played a lot of TNT. <laughs> Um, is roll twenty working, or are we mining uh, it? It was. Earlier. I'm in roll. I'm in roll twenty. I mean, I know we can't online, use the map yeah. for the stream, but it would make life easy. Uh, oh, for us. For I'm nice in roll see. twenty as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I can get on it. So we can still theorize mine for the. For, I'm afraid the guys on the stream. We're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to imagine through my descriptive benefits. Mm. Um, All right, uh, it's loading me in. Uh, I am in. I think. Crashing, um, just... Crashing through the snow. I'm a hag. I'm a hag. Wait, what are the hag? Which match is just slay? Long map is long. Uh, I'm just going to say, we'll slay. <laughs> in giant to gentle steps. We were so close, man. <laughs> we were so close. So close. <laughs> Mister, I don't, just oh, I don't want like, to no. fight anything. <laughs> Mr. Let's go home. You had your chances oh, to walk you. out of here with me, but no, you pushed forward. You guys <laughs> will cool say, Mr. Gentle Steps, you are by the fire. Elkis, oh Jesus, what's going on I'm, here? Elkis, you are. I'm behind us. I'm looking at the map. I'm going to have to be quite close, huh? Yeah. You guys can move your own characters, by the way. I enable that you all should have full access. I would yeah. say Celine yeah. is around here. And then you two are probably more in the entrance over here still. That's kind of how I envisioned it. Adri. I don't appear to be able to move my character on my iPad. Adri, can you change your name on Zoom? It's got your real name at the minute, and I can put it on roll 20, but it displays your real name. Oh. No one can know your real name. I can't legally put <laughs> her real name up. How to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Because you'd have to. It's not, so uh, it's GDPR. Then the stuff, fail get you. Yeah. You can't tell them your real name. Oh, uh, I see. Anyway, initiatives. Celine, what'd you get? Um, 13. 
13. Gentle steps. 17. 17. Elkis. Um, 12. 12. Vale. 14. 14. And Adri. Uh, 10. I <laughs> think I've done it. Okay. So, we are battle what mapping happens? on the stream. Wonderbar. So, what happened? Let me just. I don't want to have just a quick look how this looks so I can describe. Uh... Give me uno momento. Might move you a bit. Oop. I mean, can we see the map on our screens? Are we meant to be able to? Um, able I can to. see it. Yeah. Uh, okay. you'll, 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 need to, you'll need to move around. It's in the bottom corner. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a big map. I was going to say my screen, I think, is still loading. Come on. It's not the end of the world. It just gives you an idea of the space. Oh, yeah. 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 Our lovely, yeah, actually, lovely artwork of the tokens is done by our very own Elkis the Paladin. Elkis himself. Elkis oh, himself did the artwork. I've not got a clue, but Elkis. <laughs> Elkis. Self portrait. Self <laughs> can't so, sneak to save his life, but he can draw. As <laughs> you. They. Oh, Jesus, I've got, hang on, I've got Twitch playing as well in my head like five seconds after. That's horrible. As you go to swing, gentle steps, as you swing towards her, I'm guessing you step up into close range up then. Yeah. So as you move in, as you move in, behind Elkis, you see a small purplish light just appear in space behind him and slowly kind of come to brightness just like a, a, a small probably around the size of a football this kind of softly purple light almost backlights him oh no so yes yeah. as this creature is going to send a small blast of energy into the back of Elkis. No! It's a nat 20 and a 4 at advantage. Ah! Ah! Oh. It is flanking you. There goes my hero! <laughs> what a messy ghost! <laughs> Oh, this is the, you do you, you do not want to get you do not want to get crit by this. Oh dear. Well, it's a bit late saying that now. <laughs> you do not. We you're not gonna like what slam happens. the hag in the head. You take. Thanks. <laughs> you take sixteen points of lightning damage. Ow. As this essence, this spectral essence. You just feel your whole body, like your shoulder blades, like clamp to the back, and it just—you just feel your whole body racked with pain. Smoking. As this happens, gentle steps swings out towards the elderly lady. Gentle steps, can you roll to hit, please? Smash. Smash. Uh, with the with advantage. Uh, right, twenty summer. Yeah. <laughs> Level 3 kid, 20's hit. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. So, Tomahawk and Sneak Attack. Well, shit, the bed. Uh, oh, that one. was a handful of dice. Uh, three, but never mind. Uh, 11, 15, plus. Uh, where's my axe? Uh, what did I say? 15. 17 mm -hmm. points of damage. With Just the, the tomahawk, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh. Are you getting a sneak attack on that? Yeah, oh, I, did, yeah I, did, I did sneak attack on that. Okay, cool. Uh, yep. As your, as your blade makes contact, and as you step to the side and swing, the form shifts. And... The true nature. The form mutates, and you see the eyes kind of bulge out and seem to be almost lidless. <laughs> The skin goes from this leathered, frail appearance and kind of becomes more thickened and there's a kind of a sickish grey purple. The yeah. hair goes to stringy black. It seems to be interwoven with bones and gristle and trinkets woven in. And yeah, your 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 blade connects and you open up a cut across the arm and there's just this soft chuckle let out as the blade hits and 
she mutters under her breath, in giant, I wondered how long. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> 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 you know what? Don't let me call that. In giant. Don't let me call it. <laughs> in giant. I know. And then I'll let it with my bowie knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a save. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 20. 20. Yes. <laughs> 20, 20. Five points of uh, slash. How many? Five. Five, thank yeah. you. Yeah, she speaks three languages and one of them is giant. <laughs> 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 I checked after, I was like, I wonder if she. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Music's well creepy. I'm scared. So, Sirenscape. Are you on Sirenscape? I was. Do you have your desktop app open? Uh -huh. Is it turned up? Veil, vale, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please, as you see <laughs> the true form of the creature in front of you and your grit is tested. Uh, five. Okay. Reroll. 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 Can I use the reroll? You may. Thank you. I'm gonna use a different dice. <laughs> yeah, because that makes all the difference. Oh yeah. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. <laughs> you look in that this horrific form, these lidless, unblinking, bulging eyes, and kind of sickly purple skin. It kind of. It, like a wave of nausea and unease comes over you, but you kind of shake free and uh, your, your resolve holds. Cool. I'm just going to bare my teeth. Are you doing anything? Was oh, it my turn? Sorry. Yes. So I asked you to make the check. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was her turn and she was targeting me. Okay. No. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. 30. Sorry, that's really loud for me in the background. AD, we can hear AD, your mic. Can you we can, we hear, can hear you talking, talking. yeah. Um, can I shoot the uh, old woman from there, please? Yep, yeah, give me two seconds. I'm just going to try and work out why... The Twitch now cannot see the battle map. Also, AD, just so you know. And somehow we can also now still. Oh, there we go. Yeah, because I turned it off. <laughs> Four foot snake. What? Are you fine? <laughs> um, I'm just going to check. So you're in the game, um, and I think it's your audio settings at your desktop. I'm you telling you, all these. In, in did 80s, you open up the settings? Everything just went whack after the. Did you open your Sirenscape online player or the other one? Desktop. Yeah, is it called Sirenscape online player? Yep. It's open. It's I've, got, I've, I've got you as joining the game. Yeah, it must yep. be your audio settings. Probably something is. Uh, I'm afraid. Don't worry about it. Okay, fail. Sorry, what were you doing? You were shooting things. Shooting, yeah, from where I am, please. Okay, you rolled to hit. <laughs> yep. I'm guessing you're firing a good old arrow at things. I am. Uh, 26. Yeah, pull the arrow back, let it go, and thoom, flies through, and yeah, that'll hit. Damage is 12 piercing plus 2 psychic. Okay. Fire the arrow. It embeds in. She lets out this guttural sort of... Uh, like, guttural... Flemish noise that comes out of the, the mouth. She bears these sharpened teeth and looks up and, and sees where it came from. I bear my sharp teeth back. <clears throat> Meow. Goes yeah. tail. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me. Okay. Celine, can you make me a wisdom saving throw, Liz? What did I do? <laughs> You're looking at her. She's <laughs> horrific. 
He's looking at me, Ray. Three. Three. You look and are just overcome with fear as terror grips you at the sight of this transformation and this unnatural creature in front of you. You are considered frightened. You have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while you can see the creature, and you cannot willingly move closer to it. Is, is frightened isn't a part, is, isn't charm by any chance, is it? It is not a charm. Charmed okay. is a charm. Yeah. Frightened is a frightened. You are considered frightened. You cannot move closer to the creature, but you can make a another check at the end of your turn um, to get rid of it. But for this turn, you cannot move closer to the creature. And I can't do anything else, right? You can move, you can attack, you can do anything else, you just cannot move closer to the creature. So you I can, can move still elsewhere. attack with a dagger? You can attack with, with, a, with a crossbow? You can indeed. Alright. You're at disadvantage. Like you yeah. You'll be rolling disadvantage because you're frightened, yeah. but you can make a ranged attack. Um... Twelve to hit. I'm afraid that misses. So as you kind of you kind of taken aback by this, and you see gentle steps and um, Vale let loose their attacks, and Three as you're kind of he will re rose two more. Is that two more? Yep. Yeah. And you, Thank you, you. Kind of hesi you hesitate on the way in, and you kind of fumble, <laughs> and you kind of you, something stops you running closer. This just look at like this uncertainty. You, you pull out your crossbow and. It's not really your cup of tea. You, you fire it kind of haphazardly and it, you see the bolt disappear into the, the back of the cave. You still have your movement and you yep. still have your... Um, I've just cancelled the... the I don't have the action, action surge. I do have my maneuver rally and I am just going to... Um, well, because the cauldron is there, so I'm going to... I can't move closer to her, so I would have to move somewhere that's... You have to be at least one, two, three. You need to be at least six spaces between you and her. So you can go up or down, really. It's I'll stay. All here, right? That's you can do that, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't think you can move that far. You can move five squares a turn. Uh, okay, so yeah, sorry. So six. Down here. Six, six, sorry. Six to you could get here. Which is where you just were. Well, I can. Yeah, look. Depends on Rob's rules on diagonals. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's 30 feet. Yeah, that's fine. Is it you fine? can move there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you move over there. Uh, anything for your bonus action? Um... Not yet, no. Okay. <laughs> it is the creature's turn. The creature is going to look down at you, gentle steps. Obviously. Look down? A little down. Look at you. Look at my knees. And Go for my big, knees. <laughs> these big, bulging, not his knees, lidless, though, is it unblinking eyes. Just glare into you, and you can feel a huge sense of discomfort, and something doesn't feel right. Can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Wisdom. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we have two wheels. We can see your whole thing there. Fifteen. Fifteen. Well, yeah, don't worry about it. Yep. Just carry on with what you're logic. Yeah, 15, 15 on the wisdom 15, savings. Yeah. Okay. And you, for a second, you can feel kind of your life essence. You can feel your vitality start to flicker. Deja vu. But you, you, you shade it, you, you, you fight it off. You manage to push past and kind of this, this look of frustration as she lashes out with the claws. Four, 29 two. to hit. Justice. <laughs> I called it 19, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why the hell have level 3 bodies got plus 10 to it? <laughs> you have... Level 2 buddy. 
this is you a have, sandbox. You take, <laughs> you take oh. nine. You take nine points of slashing damage. Yeah, this book's no joke. <laughs> and just looks out in disgust towards you. If I was on the road to recovery, I'd be further away. <laughs> <laughs> you were a chapter. I was On like, the... no, let's go, let's go. I did, no, no, this Leave. is all you. This is all you. Lost. Adri, I said we need. You to make a wisdom him. saving check for me, please. Oh, um, Adri, so wise. Uh, sorry, uh, can Celine, you make another wisdom saving check for me to see if you manage to throw the effect off? <laughs> no. <laughs> we have two. You are still scared. Eight. We have two. Creepy rewolves. lady goes boo. You are scared. Uh, Adri, what's your wisdom save? You might save that we were well. You are just okay. You you hesitate, and as you kind of you start trying to kind of will your abilities into 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 form and to call on the magic around you, and for a second you kind of worried, and it's kind of a what if you know what if what if it goes wrong? What you know? The, you you push through, and you can act unabated. Yeah, no. Sorry, hang on. Sorry, Adri, hold that thought. It's Elkis before you. My apologies. Um, that is true. Yes. El Elkis, can we give me some saving throw, please? Because <laughs> oh, Elkis is so wise. <laughs> Fuck oh. you! Oh no, I've got plus two. Yes, thirteen. Yes, you push through. You are yeah, you little goblin. Um, I she, would she's like... a hag, actually, but go ahead. <laughs> she is a hag. <laughs> I would like to smack her upside the head. Go for it. Come on. And... Oh, you... Uh... I would like to re-roll, maybe? Mm -hmm. yeah, re roll. Please do so. <laughs> uh, that would be a 17 to hit. That will hit. Uh, so that is that dice. Uh, that is seven points of smashy damage. Seven points. The hammer goes in, whack, and as you kind of is staring down gentle steps, you almost just like sucker punches back of the head with the hammer. Oh, can... I didn't have to use reroll. I had advantage. Yeah. You've already rolled it. You've it was it advantage. You do it. I had it's, a funny track. It's flanking. Okay, yep, yeah, you need to keep track of these things rather than after the fact. This is all good, just carry on. Well, that's me then. Cool. You as you turned around to face gentle steps, you kind of jump up and whack in the back of the head and you can feel almost the skull give way a little bit and you can like almost feel like bone crack like in between and there's a little bit of give. And you can see a trickle of this blackish thick tar like Fluid start go matting the hair to the back of the skull. Um, Adri, oh sorry, uh, Elkis, anything else from you? No, that's me. Adri. Hello. Um, do Is I need to do you... another wisdom? No. <laughs> Thank God, because I'm never going to roll like that again. Um. <laughs> I'm going to be a basic bitch warlock. Can you guess what I'm going to do? Ooh. Eldritch Blast! Eldritch <laughs> Blast! And I'm going to fail on a seven! <laughs> As you, you eyes ignite, your hands ignite with a blue flame, you let it fly out, and it cascades past, misses, narrowly misses, like gentle steps, you kind of lean back, and it comes cascading past and just explodes off the rock on the back wall. Okay, fantastic. I'm now going to move behind this piece of rock so then I don't have to see her. Any idea? You can move yourself on the map, should you want I to. I just have. She, she has. Yep. yep. Just... Don't worry, I got this. Oh yeah, of course you have. Sorry. <laughs> yep. I could... You were so camouflaged, I couldn't see you. Hey. Okay. Oh, another reroll oh, from Roughworks. Nice, at, thank you. At this, at, at this point, as... <laughs> Uh, Elkis pulls the hammer back from the back of the creature. The orb of spectral light drifts around and again blasts at the back with this blast of electrical energy. Uh, what's your AC? Mr. Elkis? Uh, 20. 
Without your shield. I've got my shield. Oh yeah, you said you got it out. Yep. yep. Okay. So this blast of energy this time, the your it hits you, but it kind of cascades around your armor and kind of fizzles there for a few seconds. You can see this kind of electrical energy kind of dissipate and it almost like this ozone smell catches you as you're like, Jesus. <laughs> but you are okay. Oh, gentle gentle steps. Mm -hmm. Can you Laundering make me your demise? <laughs> A wisdom saving throw, please. 14. You are good. I will say to her, Spirits wander forth, cities from the north, in the seas of mythology, I grant no apology. Yes! And then I'll let with my tomahawk. Vicious mockery! Please, me. Not one. Please, not one. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking re trying to give himself inspiration. <laughs> Knife breaks. We're like, hold our breaths. Uh, with advantage, the pink one is a nat one. Ooh. But the uh, blood red one's 21. Okay, that you can't get 21 on a 20 sided die, Sadie. You can with plus five. <laughs> it's not fair. Creatures have a plus to hit. <laughs> It's five of you. <laughs> <laughs> all run away. Excuse you. Ooh. Fourteen points of stabby stab damage. Uh, that, so it's slash on the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slash be slash. You mm -hmm. swing the blade across and you catch her across with a collarbone. You can see this kind of. The flesh opens up and this like black tar just starts like oozing out, almost like tree sap. Um, and she kind of takes a step back almost and kind of bangs into Elkis and kind of starts looking a little bit uncertain about her situation. Bowie knife. Oh, that's worse. Before you, before you make the swing, she says to you in giant. Okay. <sighs> And of the voices, the, the the like the nice elderly woman's voice is kind of replaced by this just unnatural, scrapey voice. It just says to you, "We can make a deal. Take the cauldron, feed the towns. This save lives. Surely you, a man of mercy." A, a giant. <laughs> oh, Elkis is not shaking me. And then I bobby knife. Okay, roll it. <laughs> Four, uh, 14, man. 14. You are mistaken. 14 just hits. I thought I would re roll it. Uh, that is a five points of uh, piercing. Five on the points. Piercing. That'd be sad. Okay. And you can see as the knife goes in, there's almost like like resistance, like a. It's like you've stabbed up a, a, like a barrel of tar. It's just it's like, and you can just see like this oozing now. That's kind of down the back from the collar and down the front, and she, she looks very unwell. Anything else from you, gentle steps? Stay there, stay there. Veil. Vale. Arrow right between the eyes. Roll a hit. Knock. Aim. Point. Nat 20. That will, in fact, hit. <clears throat> it was 28 with the, you know. Goodbye, so. everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Time has come. <laughs> uh, nine piercing plus four psychic. 13 in total. You pull, a, you pull a bow back. You can level for a second. And as Gentle Step pulls the knife out, and as there's an opening, just boom. It just hits, and as she opens her mouth, you almost get the first syllable of whatever she was going to say next, and the arrow just hits straight in the forehead, and it hits with such force, you see the front of the skull almost indent probably the last two, three inches of the arrowhead. Elkish, you just see it stick out the back of the skull. There! And she kind of turns in place, collapses onto the floor, and the body, just as it hits, almost just melts away into this pool of tar. And the robes sit and across say, the top. I want to say no thanks in giant, and then just turn and nod at gentle steps. A single tear rolls down the cheek. 
Celine, it is your go. You are no longer frightened. You can see this orb of spectral light dancing around Elkis. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna light my shiny sword. Shiny or... sword! Cool. As you pull out the long sword, the blade just starts the hilt. It's just a kind of slow ember that just kind of slowly, and as it reaches the tip of the sword, the whole thing just ignites up into flame. Shiny. Can I see if Celine's boobies are lit up? Are they? Sure. Not on fire, but it's like no, this. No, like lit up, yeah. Like her breastplate, like dragons. Ah, <laughs> with <laughs> the boobies. No, no, it is not. How did you forget that existed on? <laughs> I'm tired. Put that armor there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to moderate the five of you on any given moment. Like, like dragons. <laughs> Excuse me, it's I've enough. been very it's good mad... tonight. Leave it it has. It's, yes. pretty... it's, pretty... it's not the goblin trying to touch people up. It's something else. <laughs> yeah, the you are currently... stuff constantly. Yes, I'm you going to go. Whip out, ignite. It's and the I'm first time. The it's the first time you. Whips it out. Oh. The first time you ignite the blade as well, you almost kind of hold it further away from your body, almost expecting the heat to come back off of it. You, it feels fine. Like, you, you can kind of almost, as it moves through the air, you can kind of hear the flames washing through the air, but you can't feel it on your hands, you can't feel the heat on your face. I've never... I can, I'm going to go down to the... Can I move down to the creature now? Yeah. You may. Excellent. And I'm going to slap the creature. Wing, whip out, wham! Swing the sword. 15. Sorry, 20. 30. 20. 30, 20. Uh, unhold, 30, 20. That will yeah. hit. Um, Because I'm using it with two hands, I don't have a shield. I'm using the 1d10 plus 3, right? It's 1d10 plus 3 plus 1d4 fire damage. Fuck's sake, really? Nice. Four, you don't eight, have to extra roll damage. Oh, <laughs> uh, D four, D four fire damage, right? Give me a second, just roll a D four. Not into the nuts. Oh, not in the nuts. Not in the nuts. It was pistachios and dates. It was pistachios and dates. Freaking pistachios and like raisins. Uh, 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 two. <laughs> two. 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 So, <laughs> so six and first time, The first time you're swinging this, and there's a little bit more extra weight to it than the scimitar you're used to, but you do connect and you do draw the blade, and the creature, the blade kind of goes through the creature, but you see the kind of the fire kind of engulf it for a second. Uh, and he kind of erratically darts around in the air. So it's four points of slashing and two of fire. Oh! Okay. Okie dokie. Anything from your bonus? From uh, my bonus, uh... Who's feeling shifty of them all? Can I tell? Uh, gentle Steps probably looks a little rough, and I imagine Elkis has probably looked better. Okay, um... No one looks oh, like death storms. A few of them look a little banged up. Yeah, I'll just I'll cast rally and gentle snips. There's wisps of smoke. And I would walk for miles of twenty. One d eight plus one. D eight. Yeah. At least ten. Yeah, one d eight plus one ten. Uh, six in total. Six, six to ten. Yeah. Free health for gentle snips. Oh. Elkis. The. I... Uh, You've got like a little bit of kind of blackish essence on you, and it's just kind of like, ugh. And then you, you turn around and you see Celine come hammering past with this ignited longsword and swipe at this creature that's like bobbling like something seven or eight feet off the ground. Can I reach it? For the mechanics, I'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go, you're a goblin. No. <laughs> yes. I've got, big, I've got a big hammer. You're, uh, <laughs> I dip my fingers in the gunk and put it across the other side as well. And then I'm going to circle around the other side of the orb, growling at it. I can't move my thing. Okay, I'll sort it, don't worry. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to circle around there and then I'm going to smack it with my warhammer. 
You kind of duck into it and turn around, kind of double overhand swing. Oh, right on your mic there, Rob. <laughs> there you go, back to my mic across the room. Uh, that that would be a... With advantage, because you're flank owed with Salino. Yep, that would be 19 to hit. <laughs> 19, <laughs> just hit. As this orb kind of flickers into space, you kind of, as you're swinging, you kind of adjust, and swipe down, and you whack it, and it kind of spins in place. Well, um, I'm going to pump a Divine Smite into that. It is, un it is the undead beastie, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The beast formerly known as... <laughs> I did not like that electric shock, so this is getting... One, two... Uh... Oh, I'll just have to roll this twice. So that is eight... That is ten smashy damage. Okay. Um, and up next is my divine damage. Three. But hey, paladins. Five. Shit. <laughs> oh shit! That was shit. Uh, seven. How do you balance? How do you balance party damage with a rogue and a paladin? It? <laughs> <laughs> seven divine damage. Okay. I believe it's called. Celine radiant. brings a sword down, and kind of this fire essence is kind of singing. It's kind of almost intermingling with the spectral essence. You kind of duck under the turn round and just whack it. And as your hammer goes through the air, kind of the, the moonlight catches the divine energy and you hit and just it just it vanishes. The spectral essence, this purple glow, just cascades around. As it starts drifting down, it all just vanishes into nothing. And the your divine sense senses no more. I blow on the top of my hammer. Are we, are we with and and I, like, with my blade like you this, are like... <laughs> out of initiative. I'm my sword stay on fire. We yet yeah, your sword will stay on fire for another nine minutes. Actually, another nine minutes and fifty-four seconds. <laughs> <Kind sad>. <laughs> um, you can you can manually turn it off, but you can only ignite it once per rest. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take a call a break. Thank you very much to those guys in the chat. Thank you very much for the bits, giving the re-rolls, um, keeping Still everyone healthy. Two. We have two re-rolls. to make when they need to make their lovely <laughs> wisdom saves. Uh, and yeah, we are going to take a short break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Go through it. Any more pistachios? Hello, welcome okay. back. Go. <laughs> Hello. So welcome back. So you guys, uh, take a moment. The smell of kind of the iron metallic blood smell and the rot and decay of meat mixed in with the hearty stew conflict a little bit. Um, but the cavern grows quiet. The battle draws to a close and uh, you guys are able to catch your breath. Um, shall we sit down, have a bite to eat? Not the stew. Oh. <laughs> we, could, we could, um, leave. That's a good plan, too. Uh, As I'm trying I... to put my intestines back in for the fourth yeah. time today. And also, rest. <laughs> um, it's warm here. I will slap for gentle steps on the knee, of course, <laughs> and give him a 5 HP boost, whatever 5 HP is. Hey, it's 5 hit points, mate. <laughs> uh, how long do those uh, temporary hit points last? Overhead. <laughs> okay, you're up. Rally hit points. I don't know. Is I think it's ten minutes. How long do they last? Rally? Celine? Yeah, them hit points you Just get. Checking. One second. Let Celine do it, Jim. Let Celine do it. She must Creature learn the way. Creature gains seven points equal to Sakari to die. Or it does not save. Until you lose them. Alright, cool, I'll keep on them. It might just be during, I guess, it doesn't say. Uh, I think temporary points go away at rest, to be fair. 
I think it's forever. Oh, I think they're always there now. Well, they Every hit points stay until you lose them, and then you can't recover them. They're not bugger off at rest. No, doesn't say. Assume long rest. I will. It resets your hit points, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Yeah. You're cracker. You're cracker. Literally, uh, there's nothing on it here. Yeah. Do we need proof? Do we need to take some of hers back? She mentioned this cauldron. Like she was gonna try and trade us it. Why don't we empty it and take it? It must be special. It looks fancy shit, but I don't know if the town had turned into like a town of Ravenin. Or whatever that glowy thing was, um, if they ate from it. Well, we could at least find out what it is. We're not. Well, I'm not saying people can eat for it. I'm just saying that it looks expensive, and I don't want to leave it. Yeah. How big is the cauldron? It's still in one piece. I have a bite. <laughs> it is around three and a half foot across. Um, it's probably up. You're probably about head height. Maybe you can probably just about see over it, and it's probably a little bit wider than it is tall. I can carry it like a turtle. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I'll kick some disagree. snow over the fire. I love the There's confidence. There's no snow in here. You're inside a cave. <laughs> oh, I can carry it. Well, is there any way that I could do an arcana check to see if I know anything about the cauldron? You, you're proficient in arcana, aren't you? Uh, more than likely, yes. Yes, that's, I am. More than likely is an so. answer. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, make an arcana check. <clears throat> Uh, no, I don't know anything about this thing on A9. It looks Excellent. like a pot that you make stew in, by the looks of it. Um, yeah, it looks... It looks really well made. It looks incredibly unblemished and factory new, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, yeah, I'm there, Mum. Sure. I'm there, Mum. Made you're in Yorkshire. Sure to... You're not quite sure what to... <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. Made in Sheffield, so you steal it. Um, you, you're not sure. You're not quite sure what to make of it. You, it, Yorkshire. It could be magical. You're not sure. So okay. do we empty it? Take it. Uh, do we yeah. take anything of their back? Oh, I'd like to search your robes. I want to go look at that body and see if there's a face still attached anywhere, so I can actually make, like relay both back. Both of you to make both of you make investigation checks, please. Do we really want to take an item that has cooked people? Don't want to take the cooked people, no. Um, but we she was she was going to try and trade good. us for it. Like she was um, about to tell us about it. So investigation seven. Well, then you shot her in the face. <laughs> exactly. We shoot, then we seven. Take stuff. <laughs> yeah. You you rummage through the robes and they just seem mattered with this thick substance. Doesn't seem to be anything other than just fabric and gore. Ew, 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 ew. What did you roll, Celine? Well... It looks humanoid. Probably around average height. Doesn't look to be dwarven. Looks to be either human or elven height. Maybe Goliath at a push. Um, but you see, like, pretty much the chest has been opened up. A lot of the organs are missing. The chest cavity seems to be missing. And you Can see, I see the face or hair color by any chance? You see the a lot of the skin and the hair, the soft tissue from the body has been removed. You can see left almost is kind of the tw emptied out torso, uh, both of the legs and one of the arms. The rest is either missing or haphazardly chopped or looks like it's had pieces removed. It's on a twelve. I can't see there's any tattoos or anything. I'm afraid no. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty grim. Does it have any rings or anything? I can't the remaining hand? None that you see. None that you see. Um, well, I think we've sorted out the town, but I, will they need proof? Or will they just believe us? I'm still in favour of taking the cauldron. <clears throat> as I, proof. Same. Uh, it's At a least bit... the cauldron, we can't do anything. Yeah. I definitely agree. We should take the cauldron. There is something about this, like, <clears throat> but it could also be dangerous. Like, look at how obsessed she was with the cauldron. Take the cauldron. Use the cauldron because you can beat everyone. And blah blah blah. Like, yeah, are they all gonna I'm not gonna lie, turn into probably cursed? Are they all gonna turn into slimy black monsters like her? Well, I mean, I we, we need to keep an eye on Celine then. In that case, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Celine's already a monster. Celine, make sure she's saving Jack. 
Yeah. What else can I see in the room? Can is there any like boxes or bags that I can open up and look through a rummage through? Uh, make a general investigation check for the room. We also have um, the caverns higher up the rock base and the other path going down to the frozen water in this cave as well. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired. I don't know if I want to be trips and rounds Weakness. these caverns all night. We could just leave. Yeah, we'll leave you here. <laughs> 14. You don't... You have a rummage round. There's like sacks that appear to be full of kind of mildewy, sodden clothing. There seems to be empty kind of leather coin purses. There's stacks of kind of just rusted metal and rotted wood. It just seems to be kind of the refuse and things that were taken from previous corpses. More or, or less. It's so weird that there's nothing around here. Uh, well, uh, she's I'm... gonna turn to Elkis. Do you still sense that undead? I don't sense anything unless I use my sensory powers. I would like to use a divine sense. You, may, uh, you do not sense anything within 60 feet of you. I don't sense anything within 60 feet of me. Your <laughs> 60 paladin... Feet 61 feet away. Your paladin <laughs> yeah. senses do not, in fact, tingle. Yes. Um, Spider dies. My, my face is tingling a bit because I've got this muck on me. I'm going to go to the water of a little bit of water. No, I'll take a water out of my canteen and wash it off. Say what well, water? <laughs> You're in a frozen have... river. By, by no, that frozen river, that's over sixty oh. feet, right? Say again, sorry, Slim. By where where me and Elkis were standing before, that's sixty feet further than sixty feet away from Elkis right now, right now, right? It's about probably 30, 40 feet to the edge. Okay, um, so then like maybe eighty feet to the far me. side. Um, I don't really want to find any more undead. I'm with gentle steps. So I think we should be heading back. We can head back, or we can rest here and keep going. I don't think there is any more keep going. I think we've killed a bad guy. That was brilliant, so we could head back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and and hear me out on this one. Right. <laughs> we Just don't. <laughs> we could head back, or we could not. On one hand, <laughs> you raise a good argument. Board. But... but here, <laughs> I'm going to pull it out, <laughs> If you'd like to look at the presentation, I'd prefer. I think it's mission complete. I've... It's whether we take da, 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 da. I spin my Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I am mildly concerned <laughs> about the caves further up the rock base and her, the old lady saying before I shot her in the head, uh, that there were dwarves there a few days ago because we have been investigating certain uh, dark dwarves called Jurigo. Oh, oh, um, oh, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> certain uh, to uh, uh, a subspecies, a subrace of dwarves called Jurigo, Um and they have been causing some problems. And if they were up there, I would just like to have a little check before we go to see well, if they left anything behind. Uh, um... Somebody's on my side. Haha. <laughs> um, I think she ate the dwarfs, but if you're going to do that, I'm going to sit on this floor. Or, or, <laughs> we leave. Those of magic can regain their connection to their magic. Those of us with axe wounds from giant skeletons in their face can heal. And then we can all go fully healed, connected to our arcane skills, swinging. So oh, you want to go together? back and then come back here? Oh, yes, there's, we've done what they asked us. Other than traipsing around and risking our own lives, we're already, like, how long do you want to rest in a cave that is guarded by undead giants? You think you're going to be getting... guarded by undead giants. Oh, yeah, because just the one giant here, yes. Well, she only needed one. Um, like, yeah, whatever, I would just like to not... Like, we can go back and take the cauldron, then come back here. Um, But that would depend on what the, I can't remember the person that employed us, the town speaker um, says, but we can always tell them that we heard that there were dwarves here, but they might ask us to come back, but at least I guess we'd be rested. <clears throat> I, th I think the dwarves were just in passing, they're in the cauldron. 
they might be, but they also might have left some stuff behind. You want to you um, want to go looking for treasure and items, Vale. I want to go and look for the people that possibly have caused the murders that have been happening around. That I we're thought investigating. we I thought we were getting this information for the town speaker so he could share with us their information on said people. Yeah, but we also know that Jurigar have been here causing a nuisance. We went to a Jurigar camp and we killed some of them. You really and don't like just... dwarves, do you? <laughs> the camp was like a day and a half travel from where you are. Like, yeah, just to but put they... that don't, don't, don't go you in, Rob. We've got this. We've got this. You do know that they, they could be... about a day and a half. <laughs> On the said... other hand. <laughs> All she said was that they were speaking dwarvish, so they could just be, you know, dwarves that work in the mines, passing through, or they could be Jirigar. That's, you know, I don't know either way, but I can track dwarves quite well if we decided that we wanted to go and have a look and maybe see which way they went, etc. Uh, that's all I'm saying. My only concern is our ability to walk away from an encounter with the dwarves if it turns awry. Okay. We did say they've been gone for a few days. Yeah. I, um, How long did it take us to get to this cave eight. from town? Two, three hours. Well, that's not bad. I thought it was like 15. We could come back tomorrow. Let's come back tomorrow. Let's go bring this thing back, put it in safe hands, see what info we can find. Get paid. Town speaker again. Yeah. Also, yes, get paid. Money. Get that banks. <laughs> well, I see. You change your tune now. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll staying. Right, Mr. Rogue. There's gold back there. Nothing. <laughs> you don't know I'm a rug. <laughs> you don't know my life. obvious at this point, gentle steps. I'm sorry to say. Um, wow. Yeah, let's go back then. Let's try and. How many people do I think it would take to carry this cauldron, Rob? Me. Um. We'll put you in full. it. Probably uh, no, a we're lot. gonna we're gonna tip it empty. No, we're tipping it over. Yeah. Okay. You imagine emptied. It's still a weighty thing. Five foot by five foot. Cauldron of It's probably gonna take. It's... Depends on how. You... How are you thinking about carrying it? Put it on my back. Like... Is it on wheels? <laughs> no. no. Could it be? <laughs> my mouth. I have an idea. If we can find any kind of pole arms around here, if there is a way to put it, if there is any kind of hooks in the cult or anything on the side that we can put the poles on just on our shoulders. One and carry it like a casket. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Has it got like a handle? Like a? As if it could be hung? From like a Dutch oven or two, something like that. It's got two large handles on either side. Um, so then get the no, other like, side. Top handle. Get the other it's side. It's just like I, two big iron rod handles. The other side. I have fifty so feet of rope. If you you'd want both to make be able. It. It's like for you guys, it's, you'd be able to get both hands on it. They're they're pretty big. So me and Celine, like, to... either side, will try and lift it just to test its weight. With the food you... inside, can we split it out it's first? Tipped. It's, I thought we'd already tipped. Yeah, make a uh, if you're going to try and tip it over, make a strength check. All right. We could, oh, Elkis, so we could use tipping the, it over. Yeah. We could just, use the rope to make I'll, slings. I'll help Celine, so just do it at advantage. Oh. Okay. Okay. Unless Rob says no. <laughs> Get some dice with black writing on the numbers. <laughs> all right. Oh. That roll, oh. that roll higher than a five. <laughs> <laughs> Before I even looked at the number, you said with advantage. Now I forgot what the first number was. Was it higher or lower? That's all you need to know. I think it was higher than this one that I rolled right now. Was so. that 19? Was that 19? Please? I think was it was a 20, 19? personally. I'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine now. Jesus. How many dice you got here? It was a high number. I just kind of like... Double digits. Well, I can hear in the background. Next, is... ne next week, we're going to work. We're going we're gonna to have a... We're gonna have a lesson on how dice work. <laughs> Just make us all roll on one. What am I adding to this? Strength? Nope. You said strength, Just, right? Yeah, your strength modifier, which I think for you is a plus three. Five for me. Plus three, no, sorry. Strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so plus three, so plus 19. Five. Okay, with advantage. So between yes. the two of you, you both kind of both get. It's heavy. Like, this is like a 20, 30 gallon, like, cold. And you get it up and you. It's really hard for the first couple of seconds, and as you start tipping it, and you the momentum shifts and the the content starts spilling out across the floor, steam starts billowing out where hot stew meets cold floor, um, and it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter, and it pulls, and you kind of almost a step back, and it starts sloshing around your feet and kind of fills the the bottom of this cat like, around the immediate area, and after kind of a, a couple of seconds, eventually it just keeps going and going and going, and eventually the the last chunk comes out, and uh, the the cauldron is empty. 
now we try and lift it as a partnership mm. to see if it's liftable and carryable for three hours. <laughs> now we lift, we roll again. It's going to be some lactic acid. <laughs> <laughs> between between the two of you, <laughs> between the two of you, make a strength check each for me, please. Yes. Each. Yes, please. I'll, re I'll re roll. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two. As my arms fall off. <laughs> a thirteen. Uh, what is it? Just a straight up strength check. Yes, please. Uh, plus two. Nineteen. Okay. Between the two of you, one at either side, you kind of using both hands. You're both going to deadlift it up from either side, and you can move with it. It's awkward. It's slow. And you're not sure how long you'd be able to carry this before you'd start taking adverse effects such as exhaustion and things like resting. You're from your own capabilities, you imagine you'd be able to get it back to town in one trip, but it would put you you'd be knackered afterwards and you there'd be consequence of that. Or you'd have to probably take a break halfway or so just to Idea. let your grip go. It's Is there any kind of fabric or something that we can put it on and then tie ropes to the thing and just, you know, have two or three of us drag it along the... Slide it along the ice. Uh, I reckon... Or would, would, just... would it, would it, like a piece of fabric in the bottom so the fabric kind of lifts oh. in the top so it's not getting stuck in the snow? Aren't we going to rest gonna... anyway I when reckon, we get there? Yeah, I reckon we Do can you get guys it back to town. Use my cloak? We could get it back yeah. to town even if, and then you, if you guys are tired, we're, we're planning on having a rest anyway. I don't know what you're doing after it, but I'm off to bed. Like, or at least to see the wizard. Immediately. Yeah. The wonderful wizard. They're gonna we'll drag this back, <laughs> take it to the town speaker, explain everything, have a chat, go to bed. Yes. Take over the world. <laughs> take over the world. What are we doing today, Bray? Well, today, thank you. I was gonna say you did yourself a disservice there, Bill. <laughs> Let's go. So, what are you doing? You have, you've, you've come up with a lot of ideas, not committed to any of them. I look at Celine and go, weak? We got this. Are you weak? Me? Are you weak? <laughs> cool, pick it up then. I oh, don't think I can take it. Dare, like... dare you to put another plate on that rock. <laughs> I know, gentlemen, it's quite, it's kind, of, kind of like, probably hold it down here, but I have to just kind of like lift it and... <laughs> Lifting gloves? What are you? <laughs> sure. Dead to me. You don't wear lifting gloves. I used to respect These calluses you. are natural. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Between the two of you, you can oh. pick it up. Oh. Hard going, and probably five minutes in, you realise, well, this sucks, but <laughs> it's off the ground and it is moving. Can we roll it down the stairs? We're not rolling this or Nate's it, cauldron. It's, a, it, it's an option. <laughs> there was could no, roll it down the stairs. We have to go upstairs and then we have to uh, jump over that waterfall. <laughs> I'll, I'll be lowering <laughs> it to the it waterfall. Down. We'll, lo we'll lower it with ropes and stuff if need be or just gentle switches so going. I'll make a pulley. Yeah, it's fine. This, could, this I look forward to seeing. <laughs> we could actually oh, use it to get everyone down safely if we all sat in it. Like, what? Will you carry me back? Can I sit in it? <laughs> Have you guys ever played that game with the cauldron and the pickaxe to kind of go up? Yeah, where you roll those number rocks. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. <laughs> Cauldrons and right. pickaxes. Let's That's go. Right. Yes. You guys, over the next game. few minutes, you kind of adjust your grip a few times. You kind of settle in. You get through the initial strain. I'm assuming you're going back the way you came. The same route. That's what yes. it goes. Okay. No, we're going to go backwards. <laughs> we're going to take the long route. You... It doesn't sound like um, this. It, it's awkward to get up over the rocks. The staircase is narrow. You kind of it, it's there's a few times you ding the cold on the rocks. There's a few times you kind of scrape your your shoulders. And it's a tight squeeze. Um, but after after a, a little time, you do make your way back to the top of the waterfall area, and you are kind of at the precipice, stood on the frozen water once more, looking down. The ten foot drop. We use ropes to lower it down. Yeah, we can. Ah, just chuck it. I don't think we're I, actually going to be able to I damage this thing. Ignore Audrey and start tying a rope to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's got ropes? I'm guessing a couple of you at All least have got ropes. Oh, yes. got ropes. Okay, so. Can I go down first to then guide it down? I'm going to need, 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 need a little bit. I'm going to need a little bit of narrative from you guys of not just I lower it down with rope. <laughs> Why? I'm going to go. Elkis ties uh, their you... rope to it and spits on their palms. How are you? How are you doing this? You just tying a rope to the handle? Just a single rope? You like? 
what how are you approaching this are you just all going to grab it like tug of war style i'm going to mm. jump down first before the cauldron and be, sort of be there to guide it down to and the bottom catch it <laughs> <laughs> i got it guys <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness cats have nine lives <laughs> no, that's seven of them <laughs> i'm on my four by now <laughs> we tie we tie a rope to each of the handles yeah Celine oh, takes okay. one i take the other those three climb down we lower it down me and Celine climb down or i step down we take the ropes off, we pick it back up, and we walk the oh. 14 hours. Elkis will have the rope down in the pot. <laughs> Can I have Elkis, Vale, and Audrey make athletics checks to climb down for me, please? Oh, okay, that'll be acrobatics. Um, did you say acrobatics? I, I, I nudged Celine. I said, I nudged I said Celine. acrobatics. Did you? Oh. Um, you said athletics. Sorry, no. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I said I'm athletics. athletics. Yeah. You're right. I said I want it to be acrobatics. <laughs> Ignore me. It My brain broke. Athletics because I got a 21. I nudge I Celine while they're all peering over there. Like, should we should we help them or? Uh, Let's let them learn a little. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, 16. 16. All right. So, Vale, you cat like agility you managed to shoot me down without too much problems get a three point landing it and, and stand just want to jump on four paws and just leap uh, jump. <laughs> don't even bend at the knee just like <laughs> <laughs> onto solid ice <laughs> yeah. go down like cats do <laughs> breaks <laughs> every bone no, below nice the nice little like you know bounce <laughs> just tail snap. straight up in the air <laughs> the sickening noise of bone breaking fills the cavern uh, be like you right, you're okay. Squirrels. Might do in a second. A seven can. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Like a cat shell kiss. Oh no. <laughs> I thought I was bad on a fourteen. So uh, you make your way. You to get down without much problem. However, uh... I try to step down with one leg and then I go with the other. As, El kind of on as El and... Elkis kind of Elkis does kind of the sit on the edge, turn around, <laughs> and as he starts lower, just eyes. It's just this grass fumble. <laughs> And you just you just see him slide off the edge with like a little torrent of ice and like some scrape marks, ah! and you just Celine's. and you just fly off the edge. Um, Elkis, you take three points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, as Can you Vail not use her cat-like reflexes in Dex to be able to try and rub it in his face. <laughs> I'll face. say um, I <laughs> like she's you, been trying I'm to. Say, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Um, for the sake of, I'm gonna say you you all climb down, kind of as a like you didn't say you were gonna stay at the bottom of A, and you just um, you just climb down. So yeah. he's already failed the check. He's already fell. So you don't want to try and catch me in heavy armor with a warhammer and a shield. Just a goblin ass coming towards me. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Celine's okay. gonna turn in their steps. Yep. <laughs> Can you just make? Could you just roll for me a d20, please? Sure, Tell me what you roll. Do, 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 do. If I actually roll me a percent, roll me a percentile to uh, do me a percentile check. Uh, this is always good. Break. How did uh, we forget? No, the bad can come from this. On the roll of numbers, you die. 72. Okay. As you hit, <laughs> you kind of look over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But narrative. As you we look need over, you to come in with a backup. <laughs> Vale, as you're stood there, you land cat like reflex. Uh, Audrey, you climb down, and as you guys look, you see him slip and fall, or you see them slip and fall, and you expect Thank them you. to hit, and just like you, you're waiting for the noise, but there isn't. And it's just this, as he just goes straight through. <laughs> Elkis, you're falling backwards. You hit this massive kind of slap in the back, and then suddenly. Just the shock of icy cold water hits you as you just go straight through into the ice. I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. I, I, I nudge Celine again. I nudge Celine again. Maybe, maybe we should have. Uh, maybe we should have remembered that paladins are a little heavy even though they're small. I, 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 don't, think, I don't think that's a catch-all description of a paladin, but, uh, but yeah, El Elkis is, is heavy. They might, they might need a roll. Celine's going to... Would you roll, sorry, um, Elkis? 12. 12. You hit the water and you, the shock of every A, you just hit your back, but you plummet through the ice. The shock hits you and you, you you didn't manage to catch a deep breath or anything like that. You're underwater. You're, you're 
your abilities are your own. You can still move, but the cold hits you hard. Not enough to stop you doing anything, but enough for you to be like, Christ, what was that? And you're currently kind of immersed in this icy water. Can I... <laughs> can I get my... I know this is going to be a long process. It's probably going to take... But can I get my <laughs> rope out, tie it around my waist, fling it towards Adri, and then jump in? You may. To collect yeah, the so corpse you... of Elkins. <laughs> <laughs> you, you throw the rope around you, um, and you're a, you're a mountaineer. I'm going to say, for the sake of this, you... <laughs> You throw it over, and then, like, barely as you've caught it, you, what, you just, like, swan dive in? I'm throwing, yeah, the end of the rope towards Adri. And just hope. And then, yeah. And, yeah, just hoping she catches it, and then diving in. <laughs> Make a constitution saving check for me, please. Where, where's Adri? Did she down, get down, down as well? She got down as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You two at the, the top are just looking down, <laughs> and you just see a small ice pool, like goblin outline shape. <laughs> I'm still timing up. I'm like, yeah, what? 18. Yeah, we're just kind of standing up and ready. Well, ready 18 plus 1, 19. So you dive into the water. The water's clear, um, like crisp. It's fucking freezing, but you're a little bit more hardy than Elkis. And you dive in, and you, Cat's you see him just drift. You see him a few feet below you, just drifting down. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try and grab the cat. Okay. By the tail. You're in plate. You're in plate. You're in plate armor, aren't you, Mister Elkis? I'm in splint. Splint. Is in splint. That's heavy yeah. armor, though, isn't it? Yeah. It is yeah. Give it, you. It is heavy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, make a, a bit of Make an athletics check with disadvantage as you're trying Ooh, to reach out and swim up towards um, Vale, and Vale, you're trying to swim down to grab him. Mm -hmm. How many re rolls do we have? One. I think. One. Um, one of those was a nat 20, which would have been amazing. Would have, yeah. Use the the <laughs> it's half 10, use the reroll. <laughs> the other one would have been a fr was a free. Um, oh, much better. Um, that would again. be dirty you 20. Roll again at disadvantage because it's your re. How do we do it with rerolls? Uh, I reroll the roll. So if they roll at advantage, they roll the two dice again. If they roll at disadvantage, again, they roll yeah. the two dice again. Oh. Re reroll at Let's disadvantage. Let's just hope you get a better disadvantage than last. Um, 12. Okay, you you kind of hold yourself steady. You you kind of fighting up again. You you kind of you're not the worst swimmer in the world. The weight of the armor is making this grim, but you're kind of fighting up, and you kind of come level with Vale, who's able to grasp a hand to you. Oh, I'd like to try and pull them up towards me and up towards the surface. You don't need you to make an athletics check. For okay. Them, While this is happening, I'm gonna turn around and be like, "Hey, G, how long can do we I, give them until we go after them?" Can I assist by kicking upwards? No, you've already made your check to see how well you can swim. Can, 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 I assist assist by, can I assist by pulling the rope? Uh, yeah, make you, a, you make a strength check. <laughs> you make a strength check. 14 on the athletics. Okay. <laughs> Love it if I do like, That's an 18. That. <laughs> 18, okay. So <laughs> you more fighting against it and you grab, you grab Elkis kind of by the straps of the armor and you're kicking back but without having your arms and it's difficult and then you feel the rope pull and it slowly starts bringing you up towards the surface cool as you are being pulled up um i need elkis and vale to make perception checks for me please has enough time passed that we've started lowering this yeah if you want to at this point while Bring the crack fishing in the elkis floor. out <laughs> We should have already lowered it by you, now, you, yeah. You, you, you've, you've lashed it on, you've tied it, you've kind of dragged it towards the edge, and then if you guys want to kind of start lowering yeah, it down, yeah. then you yep. can both make... We'll just leave um, it. Single 19. Or can I assist? 17. Either mm -hmm. one of you with assist, or both of you independently. Bear in mind, you're check. lowering... The, yeah, you'll be lowering this down. Um, Go for yeah, it. 22. Make, uh, Roll that advantage. 22. Uh, what did you get, sorry, the guys in water? 19. 17. Okay, Brilliant. As you look down, Elkis, and as you're being pulled away, you're looking around and like the shock and you kind of you become a little bit not accustomed to it, but you do see like you see movement in the you see movement in the water and you see like shifting shadows and things. Uh, and as you are being pulled backwards and the both of you kind of break break the surface and get the gasp of air as you uh, break the water surface. You guys with that roll, you're starting to lower the cauldron down takes maybe five six seconds and then you get clink and it it rests on the ice and this oh, kind of tense moment from the ten a chunk <laughs> then <laughs> there's something in the as, as, as the cauldron hits you can kind of see these little hairline fractures across the bottom for a second you're like Ugh! but it seems to hold 
There's something I, in the water. Did I see what Elkis saw as well or not? You did, yeah. You okay. just saw this. You're not sure what it was, but you saw you, you saw a degree of movement within the water. There's something in the water. It's coming. Run. Uh, it was there what? when we came up here. Because, in the water? Well, it was frozen, wasn't it? Behind. We can see it through uh -huh. the water. No, no, no. Saw, this is in the water. Behind the waterfall. This is in front, straight through the water. Oh, okay, okay. It's my bad. Water, yeah, yeah. The my bad, my bad. Probably um, a knucklehead. Right. It's fine. I'm going to run 30 feet away from the water. Uh, yeah, 30 feet away from the water with my hammer out. Okay. If I can. I'm at the river right you both you both climb out you both piss wet through it's freezing cold but you both you both get out and you just kind of well that was shit <laughs> but you you're out of the water i'm gonna yeah, do yell at them should we be running there's something I'm do the coming. things that cats do no, and just shake my fur off completely <clears throat> there's something in there is it coming he up? He is matted to your head. <laughs> <laughs> looking like the saddest cat that ever existed. The, the cat that <laughs> fell into a shower or bath just yeah. gets out this fur just matted down. <laughs> looking say, thoroughly, thoroughly <laughs> unimpressed with itself. As, El like... as Elkis runs away, I'm going to shout at them, you're welcome. Just shake myself Sorry, off. thank you. <laughs> the, 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 the sad, wet looking cat. That's brilliant. You, you see some figures, you see a, a figure um, kind of crest where the hole in the ice is, but Nothing disturbs the surface, and seemingly nothing exits the water after. I'll look over to the cool. cresting creature and just go, "Don't," <laughs> and then carry on. Uh... <laughs> Not today, Satan. <laughs> I don't have the patience <laughs> today. And I turn to Selena and be like, "Should we harness this to us and drag it, or do you want to carry it?" Try dragging it for a few minutes and see how it goes, and we can just pick it up and carry it. Cool. I'll wrap a sled on this with the rope. Okay. Grab so, your side with my rope and we'll just. Yeah. It's 50 foot it each. We've got loads of space. If we get attacked, don't. We'll just see, fling just the cauldron the at something. <laughs> we'll just clothesline whatever it is with the cauldron. It'll be fine. That, that is exactly well. how I imagine you look right now. <laughs> that exact expression. <laughs> Sorry, chat. We've got a very soggy kitty. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never, never before has a picture represented a mood so perfectly. <laughs> oh, God, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so you guys managed to... Yeah, you, you loop the rope around, you tie it off. It's a little bit easier now you're on the ice um, and you're, you're pulling it and it's, it's not the nicest noise in the world. It's a mixture of kind of like the occasional squeal of metal, but you, you drag it... <laughs> across and before too long you are back at the entrance of the caves Ooh. you kind of for the first time in a little while if i'd say the sunlight greets you no it don't not in this campaign <laughs> you get to the entrance of the cave and it's starting to get like, the the twilight is shifting into night um and you can see the partial moon up against the sky framing a couple of clouds and you see in front of you the endless expanse of lake Danikshire. And the, the moonlight kind of lighting up across the top. Uh, are we taking <laughs> a quick so break and heading back, or are we sleeping overnight here? I'm looking at the picture. <laughs> <laughs> How far away are we? About, um, I'd say, with the cauldron, you're probably looking at about two, three hours minimum. I think we got this. Uh, we got just this keep going. Down. Kill anything yeah, okay. that comes there, it's just about to tell. I'd yeah. rather be tired in town than tired out here. Exactly. I, I, I agree. Alright, um, frozen ones. <laughs> um, Chat. Okay. You guys... You hit a point where you acknowledge that if you push through, it's probably going to leave you a little bit achy in the morning, and you, you know you hit that point where you know you should rest. You, you push through and continue to town? Yep. Unless, yeah. Okay. You, um, can I take over start, carrying this cauldron? Am I too as short? You, general as step? you start, as you start walking, I think it uh, will they... hinder either myself or Celine, not because okay. of strength, just because of mechanics and science. Vale and Elkis, quite a scientist. You start shivering, and you, you know, you, it's bitingly cold. You are soaked with ice water, out in probably negative ten. Your furs are soaked, your clothes are soaked, your boots are soaked. 
and you're out in the elements for a few hours. By the gods, it's beautiful. Does anybody have so a spare Back up north. north. <laughs> <laughs> Negative 10. I've not seen summer for snow, years. Just <laughs> snow <laughs> angel. Negative 10 is fine. <laughs> Nothing in Canada. <laughs> hmm. The dad. I think we've lost Vale and Elkis to live. Oh, that huh? picture is, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, you, you guys... Um, I'm just letting you know the situation. If you'd like to do anything, now is the time to call suggestions. How, how, how far away on. from town are we? At, at uh, this point of revelation and information. It's probably about an hour and a half, two hours from... You're about halfway on the journey. Being the, being the uh, outdoorsy type myself and Vale are, are we aware that they're going to die if they keep walking, covered in negative They're probably not going to die, uh, yeah, what? but it's probably not going to do much... For, it's probably, they're, they're, it's not just going to outright right kill them, but you definitely... It's going to be hazardous to their health if they do not rectify the situation. I don't you have think seen, it. You have seen, I, I you have seen yeah. uh, gentle steps. You have seen people um, on hunting parties in the past, and you've seen people succumb to the cold. So I, um, and so have you, Vale. <laughs> um, Celine. Uh, yes. That, that sword that gives has up, gone out. Has gone out. About it's been over ten minutes. An but, hour and but, fifty but, minutes ago. But could, <laughs> but could you light it again, and it might oh. be warm? No. Okay. As, as Vale's asking this, he I'm can. taking out my winter gear and my blankets and stuff like this. Same. I was just about to start. You're going to have to get uh... naked and change your clothes. I look at Elkis. Don't tell me you have a problem with this. You liar! <laughs> a, a strip. <laughs> Before I've even said, oh, Elkis just gets naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He turned round. Turns around he's, already, he's already naked. <laughs> 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 uh, after, just, oh, that was uh, good timing. I, I'm I'm gonna suggest. I um, have spare clothes on me as well. They're just traveler's gear, but I can. I already have cold weather gear on me. I could probably spare with my traveler's gear that I have on the side. I, I will say, my cloak. for the sake of this, to not have any negative effects, you will need cold weather gear that isn't okay. piss wrapped. You two, your cold weather gear needs drying out to be classed as cold weather gear. So until I'll you change that, I'll swap as much of my cold weather gear as possible with Vale. You can give her the cold weather gear or keep it. You, I'll get you. That's what. Yeah. What, I, yeah. No, no, no. I was trying to be all narrative like because I'm massive. I know. <laughs> I will give my cold gear to Vale, so Vale is I, no um... longer in danger. Sun's out, guns out. Boom! <laughs> the big furs are off. And snow on bail on you. It's, 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 it's like pretty, like, it's, like it's, it's heavy, like, and it's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> you put it on, it's just like. It's, and then I and just, you, uh, you start I just, pat, I just like rubber then with a towel on it. Like, yeah! Um, <laughs> I will give all of my. <laughs> the cat fur is just like stuck out on all. Can I? <laughs> my hackles come up as a cat. I will, <laughs> I will give all of my cold weather gear to uh, Alcus. That's right, Adri is immune to the cold now, right? Mm. Uh, Adri, yeah. you uh, yes. you drop the... Yes. Oh, guess this on you is massive. You have to, like, roll the bottoms up, roll the arms up, yep. and it looks it looks ridiculous, <laughs> but it's keeping you from... <laughs> the pair of you look pretty stupid, but you're not freezing to death in the snow. <laughs> we look like children that have come in from a water fight, like, dressed in, like, their parents. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um... <laughs> To give myself a little bit of a boost while we're going as well, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. All right. And I rolled a one. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we have we have one extra. No, we don't no, have we any don't. more, right? It, no, no, it's, 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 it's a lot better you roll a one now and not the previous couple of rolls. Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. That's fine. Um, Just a bit of a peppy master. And you guys push you can start feeling that burning pain in your arms you know your shoulders start giving out we'll just You're keep like, switching on. sides one arm and then we'll go to the other arm it'll still hurt um, like hell, but... audrey you it's kind of weird because you're used to having your furs on and things and you know as you're walking across the moon bouncing off you kind of just see the snow and ice all around you and it's the first time you've kind of acknowledged the fact that you don't feel it and you're in like your normal um out traveling clothes. Kit. Clothes, yeah. yeah and you're just like it's odd. It's a it's a weird <laughs> sensation. You expect <laughs> you watching pictures again. <laughs> you're expecting to be cold, and you're kind of like because you, if you've gone out in the cold before, you've succumbed to it, and you felt you felt the pain of it, and it, it just doesn't come. You're expecting to get cold, it just doesn't ever take hold, and you make it between the five of you back to the edge of East Haven uh, for gentle steps. And Celine, you'll both have a point of exhaustion from carrying the cauldron the entire way through. I'm going to try and uh, 
fake it. <laughs> no, Ty. You tired, Sully? No. Me neither. Mm. Me neither. Fine. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Do I believe them? <laughs> Yeah, both of you. <laughs> 14. Uh, do I believe them? Hang on. Who's, to who's uh, talking to you? Channels. Deception? Oh, yes, no. please. <laughs> <laughs> I am not charismatic. <laughs> uh, I got a 10. <laughs> so, rolled an 11. <laughs> Between the pair of you, like, Celine, you're kind of shocked. As you say, you're like, oh, that was easy. You look and it, Celine looks like it was easy. And you're like, Jesus, like that. You're like, ah, oh, God, it hurts. <laughs> Celine's just like, you're dying inside. Don't get me wrong. But you're, 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 you're well aware that he's full of shit. And yeah, he's, he's yeah. looking a little bit. <laughs> he's looked better. <laughs> um, and you guys do make it to the <laughs> edge of East Haven and you enter the town. Probably pushing into the few hours before midnight. Good. We don't take to see oh. anybody until the morning. Yeah. Let's yeah. drag it back, back to my to place. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. Oh, so we go to Celine's with the cauldron. Yes. Mm. Sounds good to me. Another hundred meter or so. <laughs> totally got it in the tank. <laughs> it's the slowest 200 meters you've ever seen. It's just That's like each. That three you've like, before we it's, get it's, like, it's, like, it's like that last squat rep at the end of a bad leg day. You know, your mate's watching, so you just power through it. You, you get to the Celine residence. Um, the door is swung open. Drag the cauldron upstairs. <laughs> just, what? Hey, just put it upstairs with you for me. It's fine. I look up the stairs. I'm like, right? I thought this was I a bungalow. I don't live downstairs. I live upstairs. <laughs> this is not a bungalow. It's, right? a, it's a, a fourth floor flat. <laughs> we don't lift. There's no lift. No. <laughs> uh, why don't we just, you, uh, yeah, why don't we just you, leave you, it down you, here, you, Celine? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Nobody will come in here. Yeah, we, don't, we don't need to show key. off to the rest of the party. They know we're you... the strong ones. <laughs> You make it back to Selena's place. You bring the cauldron inside. The door is shut, and you are out of the elements for now. And you can have a look around. You've got the pair of you two who are absolutely knackered. You two are look like a pair of drowned rats. And Audrey, you're relatively okay. <laughs> for you, for you, it's just been a for you. It's just like been a nice stroll. <laughs> it's like, Beautiful yeah. spring just a, You've had a nice couple, you've just had a nice walk. <laughs> yeah. uh, Celine, can we light a fire? Yes, please? of course. Light it, light, light the fire, light all the fires, please. <laughs> Set the house on fire. <laughs> My house I, is your house, Mika. Uh, your your I what? Said, I said. What? What's ours? House. What? Oh, house. 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 house is your Not house. House. <laughs> house. <laughs> My house is your house. Oh, <laughs> my house is your house. My house is your you house. Nearly got bummed right there. <laughs> uh, light the fire. I lay out all my cold weather gear, which is not currently cold weather gear. Yeah, I um, lay out all my frozen weather gear. I strip Breaking. and get to play. <laughs> uh, I strip and give the clothes back to Adri, thanking you, and I curl up in the corner with my blankets. There's loads of blankets around everywhere. With Celine's blankets, because mine are wet. I do the same, I give the clothes back to gentle steps and just curl up like a cat in front of the fire. <laughs> I'm gonna go and curl up. Like a cat, to... you are a cat. For you, it's just curling <laughs> up by the fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, curling just... up, but like a nice yeah, fluffy carpet up. there too, so there's a huge carpet uh, in the whole place because I love it. No, the that's that that's uh, veil. I'm gonna go <laughs> and try and spoon the kitty. <laughs> Just gonna you kill accept... you. You're, you're fucking freezing. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just gonna say nothing and just gently push two paws out, yeah. just moving just, him just away. Pull, <laughs> I just pull like, their, uh... their little goblin hand. I just pull it over me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Warm. Warm. Uh, I will say for the I unless was anyone would like. Very warm. <laughs> If you uh, if anyone like to do anything specific, let it be known. Otherwise, we're going to bring the evening to a close, and you guys are going to retire for the evening. Nothing. In but sword in corner, fall onto bed. <laughs> per as I fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Can I try and have another look at the cauldron? Now that we're not in like a tense atmosphere, somewhere comfortable, I'd like to do another so, check, please. 
Okay, I'll say now because you're not under any major time constraints. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit more time to kind of look and investigate it. Um, it takes an hour. Now you have to. Now you kind of look around it, and you you have more time to, I guess, get 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 to know it. <laughs> it's called Steve. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know it. Like long walks it. on the ice. Like like walks like long walks on the lakefront. Bit of a drag. Unfortunately, yeah, and, and clubbing baby seals. No. Unfortunately, um, it's a conservative. Likes white wines and rom coms. You. Hold on. You look inside and it's spotless. Any residents of snow, Resident. ice, previous contents seems to be. It looks like it's been cleaned. Um, it, it's immaculate. The. Um, Colden itself does appear magical. Oh, no shit! You, God, after, <laughs> after, after spending the evening between the lot of you before you rest, you will... You wouldn't necessarily know what it is about identify. You're, you're aware if it is a, a magical... If a cult. character spends an hour uh, with an item yeah. of magical power, like intently on it, they can garner most of the information from it. Obviously, a DM's description. Sure. Of course. You are aware that it appears to be a self-fulfilling cauldron. Yeah. In that Fast. people who know how to use it can create food from nothing. Mm. And it will oh, produce food. <laughs> You're not sure how it would work or what the actual process is of operating it. Due to the size of the cauldron and how much was in it, it's pretty safe to say that once once triggered and full, you would be able to probably feed up 5, to 000. 100 people potentially. Fish how many? Brand. You mean like to a 100 people? Uh, it depends on the village. Okay. Um, East Haven okay. has a population of 750. Take it on wheels and bring Ish. it with us. I, th I think we should um, leave it here. From, it's, you know, it's... from from your no from your knowledge around <laughs> the arcane, you are aware of an item of this capability and of this craftsmanship and of this power. In a regular area, would be highly sought after and valuable. In an area suffering from food shortages, poverty, and failing crops, priceless. It would be incredibly valuable to the right people. Highly mm. sought after. I mean, like learning towns from where I live, where no one has any food. To put it in perspective, none of the towns are particularly prosperous. No one's living like kings right now. Some towns are worse than others, don't get me wrong. But if you kind of cast your minds back to the taverns you've eaten at, it's been basic either fish and basic potatoes, basic bread. There, there doesn't seem to be, and you guys know from the last year of living here, it's progressively be getting scarcer and scarcer and scarcer over the last year or so. Hmm. And you feel, just from your local knowledge, you feel the general tone of the of, of the Dale and of Ten Towns is that the winter and the unrelenting cold. This is now the second year the harvest has failed and it, the, the fishing is becoming problematic. More and more fishing we're <laughs> missing. More and more boats have been frozen in the ice. It's getting more and more difficult it's progressively getting worse and you feel that that tipping point of not sustaining the population isn't too far off. Okay. Hmm. Okay, thanks. I'm not going to share this information with anyone. Just saying. You, uh, Audrey spends a few hours just kind of looking over and kind of examining the cauldron and kind of meditating around it and the evening is your own. Is there I'm anyone asleep. else who'd like to? You're asleep. Is there anyone else who'd like to do anything before the night takes you? Night has tooketh me. Night has taken it. Okay. I'll wash. In that case, by uh, you all make your necessary preparations. Those who are still awake, you will take your evening's rest. Uh, you all are considered long rested. Well, sweet fucking Mary and Joseph. 
Give me that long you rest. Bear with me, you bastards. <laughs> And we're oh, level twenty. Nice no, I'm ah. just. I just want to check a couple of things. Don't be looking at the book. Give I us it. I swear to God. Give us it. If you don't let us level up. What have you done since you've hit level three? We have killed a giant. I have, have killed a giant. We <laughs> described how we got dressed. You killed a Tag. dead giant. A will of the wish. An undead it was giant. Undead giant. Mm -hmm. We shopped. We bought some stuff. You did. We you killed what's her Gentle face? steps. Gentle steps now level six because of that shopping experience. The rest well, of the, you are back to two. The, <laughs> the woman, the, tra the trader, and the, undead, you, the, and the undead guy, the blue eyed guy, that was level you three. You leveled to three yep. when you killed them. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what Gentle steps oh. flirted. Give me a second. I have notes. I'm just getting to that. I just want the long I'm rest. Checking. I don't care about anything else. Yeah. <laughs> you are considered. Long rest. Cool. Yeah, that's very well done. I'm the more, that, the more that we ask, I feel like it's less likely yeah. to happen. Don't hey. bait ding, the ding, DM. Ding, ding. Are we up? We, do? we didn't really do much. <laughs> Just insanity that we're on episode whatever. And we're still only on level. Leave the DM alone. <laughs> Stop baiting him. Imagine. Well, it could be 30 sessions. It could be 30 sessions. He says the person. <laughs> That's the person who ev every time we stop for a rest, you're like, <laughs> have we leveled up? <laughs> leveled up. I personally don't want to level up. I think stop that would be a kiss ass. <laughs> 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 this way, fantastic. This way is more dramatic. This is just yeah. drama. It's great. It's like shit. We're still. I want to be level three forever. I'll I'll take Vale's levels. We'll, we'll send Vale in first. It's fine. <laughs> I... I'm never leaving this fireplace. <laughs> I have four <laughs> notebooks and I can't remember where I wrote the. <laughs> I've got it in. to know what's going on, Dungeon Master. I know. Um, I'm still doing the voice. <laughs> it's gentle step. It's said gentle step. I don't break character to the uh, commentary on the DVD. Gentle step. Guys, <laughs> what's the Dungeon the night, Master? The night you don't takes know, you. Tony. <laughs> you fight off the cold. The pair of you that were. So we get another fight. Point. That's sexy. <laughs> Yeah, how much XP for fighting off the cold? <laughs> the roof caves in, suddenly there are rocks. I'll find the rocks. <laughs> the cold must be worth some XP. If you just spar with each other all the way up to level 20. Yeah. <laughs> how much XP is one of like killing rats. <laughs> Thank, thanks for I'm... tuning in to watch us, <laughs> viewers. Just okay, hang on. I'll, check, I'll check that in a second. I'll find it in a second. You get the morning takes you. Um, the lights fill... Morning the takes us. Ha! Ha! Hey, the light Dom. does not spill anywhere. Hey, Dom! The darkness, the, the, the darkness spills in through the window. You guys wake up. The cauldron is, as Gone. it were, you, you guys wake up around <laughs> on the floor. Um, so is Elkis is still big spooning. <laughs> uh, they all... You wake up a little bit worse away. You recover from your wounds. You're a little bit achy from the exertion of the day before, but you wake up. You're safe. You're inside. You're warm. The few <laughs> embers in the fire. The few embers in the fire are just sort of dying, dying. You've got those kind of like the red embers, like crackling amongst the burnt out wood, um, still giving off like a soft warmth. Um, a new day is here. Snuggle into Elkis. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, you for welcome. saving me, Vale. <laughs> Any time, just not soon. <laughs> <laughs> Any time, except now. <laughs> yeah. Any time, but preferably not today. <laughs> you find yourselves alive and in possession of a, an odd item. Well, and cause... we're going to wrap... <laughs> And a cauldron. Uh, <laughs> I love we'll wrap, wrap, get off my knee. We'll wrap, we'll wrap up the session here, um, and we will pick up with what you guys are going to do with your newfound treasure. Uh, now that you're back in East Haven. So, thank you very much, players. That was hilarious in equal measure. Thank you very much, guys and girls in the chat. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your bits. Thank you for allowing the rerolls. I think a few of them probably saved a few people from some uh, interesting roles uh, hopefully you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give us a follow if you haven't already we are episode 14 in to rhyme of the frost maiden um, we are getting through there the plot is uh, getting deeper people the characters are getting more interesting they're bonding as a team 
fishing each other out of ace lakes. <laughs> Slowly getting more interesting. 14 <laughs> sessions. Pretty taken 13 Absolute episodes. Absolute 14 <laughs> sessions, and two of you stood and watched with your paladin <laughs> drop into the other way. Do we help no. him? Character development. Nah. Me and Selim were bonded. Time. Me and Selim were bonded. Yeah. We trusted Vale's abilities. It was bond. It was character development. That was, that's what it's all about. For those of you who don't think that's utter nonsense. No, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Um, we've got. Uh, we're back next Friday, I believe, for yep. session fifteen of Icewind Dale. We will pick up from here. Uh, I believe we've got. Nothing till Sunday, no. Pathfinder's off for Sunday. the foreseeable future. Uh, it's coming back. I just need some Saturdays. And Sunday uh, is Dice of the Beholder playing their homebrew campaign, Chronicles of Needham, which is fucking brilliant. If you watch it, just go on YouTube, Dice of the Beholder, and watch their Dungeon Master. He's an absolute... Soft as shit, but he's an absolute legend. <laughs> like His ability to create a world with NPCs. He does all the voices, kids. He does all the voices. If you don't want a northern D D session from Tuesday or Friday. Not, hey, if, if, you want, if you want a D if you want a DM with hair, tune in on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we saw another side to Rob today. We saw Northern Old Lady. We've not had that. That yet. is the only side of Rob. It's just you lot don't know it. And she did if you want a DM that doesn't look like me or AD, tune in Sunday for a little bit of variety in your game. Long flowing hair, being down the wrist. Good Bye. braids. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Love you all. Bye. We're just going to go. We're going to let him be on that. Very, as Rob said and as the players have said, thank you very much for tuning in. The community has grown and grown and grown since last March. Coming to this March, um, I believe... When we hit lockdown last March, I started planning, and the very beginning of April, I'll get an actual date, will be a year that we've been playing these um, these stories, these adventures, whether it be homebrew, out of books. Um, so in April, we'll be doing a couple of sessions, a couple of streams throughout the month, just to do some Q&A with the players and the Dungeon Masters that have been on, just see how everyone's doing now that we're a year later into the lockdown, swap some good old stories, or do you remember this, do you remember that, remember when Elkis did this? Uh, so yeah, so look out for them. A massive thank you to thank anyone you who's followed, shared, watched, commented. Uh, thank you very much. So watch out in April for our uh, one year anniversary. Bye. 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 Love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.